Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are feeling peachy today. And I also hope you are feeling hungry because we are going to be playing some lemon cake. And there's actually been a new update to this. So the update kit went live on April the 19th, I think. Um, so it's a little while now, but it's the first time I've had a chance to play it. And the update adds two big new things to the game. One is a bedroom that you can decorate and you can bring food up to it and stuff like that. And I think you can now eat your own food, which is really nice. And the other thing I think it adds is pets. From what I understand, from what I have seen, we're nearly 100 days in. Four more days and we've done 100 games days in this game. So let's go ahead and check out this update. Oh my gosh, what? <gasps> Check this out! We've got like this whole little... Oh, this is so cute! Oh, it's giving me loads of XP as well for some reason. Love that. Look at this! Okay, so how does this all work? I need to update my wardrobe first. So do you guys want to spam some numbers in the chat? And we will create our character for today. And I think maybe this is like an upgrade menu. What we've done... Okay, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, <gasps> very cute outfit. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. So I'm guessing this works as an upgrade tree, similar to um, the rest of the kitchen. The good thing is we've up we've done the whole kitchen and we've got a thousand pounds to spend. So. I actually think we're going to be able to do something really cool up here. This is awesome though. So this is our like loft area. So I I guess... Ah, uh, so if I walk over to that, that's what brings me downstairs. Okay. Should we just do another red velvet cake day? I'm kind of feeling we do because this is how... We started to work out how to earn a lot of money in this, didn't we? Yeah, look at my money. I've got a thousand pounds. So we got two cats. They're called Dewey Drop and Adelina. Um, it is Super Mario! Oh my gosh, yes! Faith, that is such a good shout. It is Super Mario vibes with blue hair. Um, so yeah, we're gonna upgrade our room in today's episode. Try and get ourselves a dog. Here is our wife. She hates us. She really hates us, which is very sad. And hopefully we'll get our two kitties adopted. I just want to get this whole day done so that I can go upstairs and, like, experience my bedroom. That's all I want to do. That, yeah, she still hates us. I don't understand why, because I've sh never shown her anything but absolute... Oh, that's Ali leaving. I was like, oh, someone's outside. Um, I've never shown her anything but love. Um, but what can you do, guys? What can you do? The cat's named after you. Yes, Jerry Drop. I go into chat and I grab two names whenever I see the cats. It's totally random. Uh, if you want, you can, you can get the cat name with bits. Uh, but otherwise, we just pick it from the chat. And wifey's filing for a divorce. No, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm trying so hard to win her love, okay? Eventually she will love me, okay? And we also got the magic broom now. We've got... Can I, like, get to this from in here? No. So I can't, like... I can't get up apart from when I'm up there. We've got we've got the carrots. And um, we've also got the lemon. Here is the lemon, guys. So, the only thing I have to do is unlock some more recipes by leveling up. And I think when I get to level 40, we'll, that's when we'll have a lemon cake. So, that's pretty cool. Claire being paranoid after Life is Strange. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who tuned into my Life is Strange um, yesterday? Life is Strange 2, even. Oh my gosh. That bit with the car actually made me jump out my skin as well. I am the husband. I am the husband Dorado, 100%. I'm just getting some cakeies ready for the day. That's what we're doing. But I'm probably just going to open now. So there we go. Lemon cake time. You know what's really sad? Usually when I play this game, I actually have lemon cake to eat. But I've finished all my lemon cake. A lot of you guys watched it. Who? I don't want any spoilers on romance in Life is Strange. Because I don't really know what the deal is with this one. Um, but are you guys, is there any characters that you guys really love or like simp for that I should know about? I'm kind of interested to know. Mm. Book! Let me, uh, let me just pop this cake out and then I will uh, read your massage. There we go. 
Bucket J! I guess the first message didn't go through. Oh no, have I missed a message? I'm so sorry if I have. Let me scroll back. No. People sometimes say this. I have like a message wall that only I can see and it's just like stuff that I make sure I don't miss. For some reason, I totally missed that book. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much for the bits. Uh, reception is really bad here at work. I have to use mobile because of work restrictions. Anyhow, just stopping by. You have all the fun. Much love, Bok and Jay. Love you, Jay! In all in cups. Jay, you are loved. Very, very loved. And I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I love your reaction to scary games. A lot of you... Okay, you guys are saying Lila, the dad, uh, Sean, <laughs> And we had a light change to lavender. Ooh, love that. Let me do a lavender light change. Bada bing, bada bong. Um, yeah, that's right. So let's go for lavender. And then for the beans, I'll go for like a dark lavender. There we go. Wait, did that top one change? Yeah, it did. Purple. Can you see it enough? Maybe if I go there. There we go. Lavender light change. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And let me get back into Lost Game. There is Ca did, did some of you guys say Cassidy? Yeah, I thought that Cassidy... Oh, I thought Cassidy might be um, a simp option, to be honest. I was kind of seeing it. We were kind of seeing it already. Uh, let me just go and pop this little cake out. There you go. No cats have been adopted yet, and look how cute they look. Are these people for real? Like, rude. It's, is it May the 4th today? Oh, Star Wars fans! May the 4th be with you! <laughs> Thank you! Who is a Star Wars fan in the chat? Sean is hot, but Lila is so sweet and loving. Lila is very sweet. You can tell that she's a very good friend. Like, she cares deeply. But how did that call get reported? I wonder how the police knew we'd got in touch with Lila. That's what I want to know. Claire reminds you of Ray for some reason. Oh my gosh, I will take that as a compliment, most definitely. It's so good knowing exactly what everyone's about to order. Because <laughs> there's only one choice! Yeah, you guys think that they bugged her phone? Oh, Poor Lila. You're more of a Trekkie fan. I can totally see that. I prefer Battlestar Galactica. That's like my jam. That is like the sci-fi series I like the most. And Mass Effect, but that's a game, so it's a little bit different. Tracked her phone call for sure. Oh, poor thing. I think she's really struggling with our... I think like she was more a part of like um, Sean and Daniel's family. And Esteban was probably more like a, a parenty kind of vibes for her than her own family. That's like the vibes I get. But yeah, no spoilers. I don't want to know too much. I just like the vague stuff is okay. The vague stuff's fine. There we go. We are going to be so freaking rich. I swear. I really love my new lazy way of baking as well. With just one thing each day. It just makes my life so much easier. I love it. Your streams always cheer me up. I'm glad you do. I'm glad my streams cheer you up. Oh, who was this for? I should have brought that to table four, shouldn't I? Okay, the lunchtime rush is here. Okay, <laughs> worrying. Uh, millionaire bedroom? What do you mean? What, in this? Oh, the amount we're going to be able to spend on our house. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, we really will. We're going to get to have a really cool bedroom. Because we got lots of money, money, money. It's not lazy, it's smart. Yeah, I didn't like the chaos of like going in and out of the um, garden. It honestly just kind of annoyed me. So I feel like this solution is way better. It fits like my chaos more. Because otherwise it's just too chaotic for me. What time is it here? It is 20 past 4. 20 past 4 in the afternoon. And it's a really sunny day today. But it kind of looks also like... No, I think it's pretty sunny. It's a sunny day today. Oh geez, a lot of cakeies out here. Let's get another one in the oven. Have I still got room of like things to sell on the shop floor or not? No, I do. I'm okay. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're going really quickly today because we're in like Mario mode. <laughs> Super Mario mode vibes. Oh, she looks cute. I like the little white on white. You've had rain in Wales. Our weather's been pretty good today, which is nice. 
We honestly are owed some nice weather because it's like May and it's still quite like garbagey weather in the UK, which is not the one. It's been raining all day in Norfolk. No. I'm still trying to convince to Ali, Ali that we need to live in Spain. <laughs> oh, I can't go. I can't go. I don't did. I'm like, Ali, I will learn the language. I don't care. I feel like Spain. Spain is where I'm supposed to be, you know? It's warm. I want to live in Spain. <laughs> and it's not too far, so like I could still like go and fly to my parents and stuff. And I could drive the dogs there, like, if we lived there, they wouldn't be too hard. But... Portugal is nice as well. I want to live like on the south coast of Spain. That's where I want to live. Because that's the warmest place in Europe in the winter. And that is 100% the motivator for why I want to live there. <laughs> Wait, is it still lunch? Have they changed the amount of time in a day? Wasn't this quiet and down like a second ago? And now it feels really busy again. What's going on? Pick a recipe. Oops. You like the brown hair today. Thank you. I thought I'd just mix it up a little bit, you know? Just a little mixy up a little bit. I should visit Thailand. Uh, the, yeah, Ali's not. I, I feel like, Georgia, when I first started talking about this, Ali was just like, absolutely not. And then, see, I've been talking about this for years. It started to get really cold in winter and really gray. And I think he started to be like, yeah, I can't do this every year. I'm like, he's like. So I think I'm getting there with him. I, it doesn't help that I'm always cold. I've got stupid Raynard's disease. So I'm always really cold and I just hate it. So, and also I, I get quite bad, you know, SUD, a seasonal affective disorder. Like, not like full on deep or anything, but like definitely when it's rainy or like gray outside, I feel, my my mood feels lower. And I feel like um in the UK, you just have that all the time. So I feel like I always feel it. So yeah. Uh, are you gonna get her a coffee or not? What? Why don't you give her a coffee? Oh, right. Did she already give her a coffee and I missed it? Oops. A customer left hungry. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I'm trying to convince Sally. I, th I feel like we could make it work. $150. This is why. This is why you don't need a full menu. You just don't. You just don't, guys. And Dead Friend says, thank you so much for the one. 200 bits. Can you name a cat Minnie? That's my cat's name. Also, you got my stickers the other day and you put them in your notebook. I love them. <gasps> yes, and Dead Friend says, I'm so glad you like your stickers. Um, They're so cute, right? And I hope you enjoyed them in your notebook. I'm going to order myself a new bullet journal and put the stickers in there as well. You get sad in the summer. See, I'm the opposite full moony style. When it's like, I don't like sitting in the sun. But if I look out my window now and like... Um, I'm, can I do this? Yeah, <laughs> like that, like it's all sunny and nice and I just like feel happy. Whereas if I look out my window and it's just gray and the in the UK when it's it's gray a lot, I don't know, I just feel like it gets to me, it just gets to me. Um, okay, <laughs> should I just keep it again? <gasps> Here we go, so this is the bedroom update. So, rugs, place a few rugs, yes. <gasps> oh, good idea. The rug will definitely brighten up the bedroom. Nice. Keep it in mind before renovating the bedroom, we also have lots of fixed down in the bakery. No, I finished everything. Since these are only cosmetic upgrades, it might be a good idea to press furniture in other rooms first. And then decorate the bakery while the decorate the bedroom once the bakery is prepared. Oh, wow, I'm a bit out of practice with my accent. But look, we've completed everything. So the only thing we actually can do is bedroom. So this is kind of perfect, right? This is kind of perfect. Uh, when Bean isn't around, you should do plant calm. That's actually a good idea. Uh, mods, am I missing any, um, redemptions? Hufflepugs, you get this, uh, seasonal affective disorder as well. It's not fun. My mum gets it really badly as well, so I think that's where I've got it from. When it's sunny like this, I just wake up and, like, I'm motivated to do stuff. When it's grey, I just feel like I can't get going. I just, like, everything takes me 50 times longer and I just have no motivation and... I feel like my glass is half empty when, like, it's grey outside. I don't know. 
Yeah. Have you tried a sun lamp? Yes, I actually have. I've used one all throughout, not this winter, the winter before. I'd switch it on every morning just to like get some UV like energies. Um, but I don't know how much it helped. I don't know how much it helped. I might need to try another one. And Maria as monkey, thank you for the bits. Just some celebratory birthday gifts. Uh, birthday bits. Glad to spend it with you on the peaches. Marissa, is it your birthday? Oh, is it Maria? Mar no, Marissa's. Marissa, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Marissa. Happy birthday to you. And uh, thank you so much for the posture check. There we go. Thank you so, so much. Right, let's go ahead and also buy a library. Read books from Miss Bonbon and learn about her bakery. Yes. <gasps> Whoa, where'd you find all my own books? Oh, she looks angry. Well, I guess I don't mind you reading them, Claire. Are you flirting with me? You may even find one or two useful things in there about the bakery. Okay, nice. And then we can also get a wardrobe. Change your outfit from your bedroom. Nice. <gasps> oh, you, you got the wardrobe rebuild and all the outfits unpacked. It'll be easy for you to change now. It's already kind of easy, but okay. I can't wait to see how you'll switch up your outfit. Okay. And then we've also got... <gasps> Fairy lights. Can you try and do a California accent? Um, I don't know how to do a California accent. Is that like a drawl? I, ca I can only do a Southern accent. I'm trying now. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do a California accent. What's a California accent sound like? It's like the Californian drawl, like, oh my God, like, decorate your room with some fairy lights. No, it goes, it goes American. It goes American, I'm sorry. It goes Austra uh, Southern, sorry. Let's get some fairy lights. <gasps> I can't wait to see the bakery rebuild. And some paintings. <gasps> Let's buy something. <gasps> Grow a few plants, yes. I've still got so much money. Curtains, yes. Oh my gosh. Adopt a cat. 275 or a corgi dog. Um, hello, where is, uh, why is it not a Pomeranian? And um, why is it not a Cavalier King Charles? Okay, I'm gonna pull you guys because I can only afford one. So, which one do we go for? What pet? Do we go for Doggo or Kitty Cat? Go ahead and vote in the poll now. Um, I found Twitch, thank you so much for the bits. We call that seasonal depression here in Washington. We live with it all year round because we rarely have the sun. Mostly rain and gray skies. Honestly, like England's summers are sometimes okay. But yeah, I'd say autumn and um, winter are very much like that here as well. And some of spring as well. Definitely some of spring. Oh, do you guys have prom soon? Oh my gosh, who in the chat is getting ready for prom? What are you guys, what is the votes? Oh, it's very doggo heavy. Very doggo heavy right now. I'm sorry you guys can't see the like poll options on YouTube. I don't know why it started doing this. I don't know how to change it. And Silky, thank you so much for the bits. I love Cassidy from Life is Strange 2 so freaking much. It's her personality and accent. Also, the next Life is, 2, Life is Strange 2 episode has some strong adult themes. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you for warning me, Silky. Um, COVID ruined your prom. Oh no. Of course, they cancelled your prom. Could they not like do testing at the door or something? And if you don't, if you don't pass the COVID test, you can't go. Could they not do that to make sure that you can still do it? Jeez, I didn't even think about the COVID thing. Wow. My school didn't get a prom either when I was in school. Oh, that sucks. That's such a big like, like cultural thing to do as well. Okay, you guys want me to pick Doggo, so let's get a dog. And then I've still got a bit of cash, but I can't afford any of the- Oh my gosh, you can get a bun bun. <gasps> so, should we go see our dog? I think we should go do our, see our dog. I'm gonna just keep my cake for now because it's so much easier. <laughs> a dog! Can I pet the dog? Wait, how do I say hello? Oh, there we go. It's got some little hearts. Why do I just have this on my person at all times? Oh, and this is where I do my um, dress now. Okay, guys, let's get some numbers in the chat. Numbers in the chat for the outfit. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one, two. And she's facing the wrong way. But there we go. Here is the outfit for today. Do we get blue hair again? How did that happen? Did I forget to do this one? I'm gonna do another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Was it that one? No, it was that one. No, it was that one. Uh, let me, I think I missed um, hair color. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is where I change. And then there's this little like um, bit here as well. Miss Bon's Bonbon's cookbook. I wonder how I get them. It's like tip one. How do I see them? Secret notes and cookbook. I don't know how to do that. How do I get the dog to face the other way? Like, I want to see the dog. The dog's just, like, looking out the window. Also, my window's, like, all, like, boarded up for now. Oh, the dog's walking over! Doggy, come here. Come here. Oh, there it is! Oh, it's so cute! Hi, little doggy. Hello. Hello. Hey, little doggy. Hey, little doggy. Oh, and there's a little hamster poster above my bed. Okay, it's looking way cuter already. And it's- Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Stacy. Is this gonna... Let me just hide my face for a sec. There's a frog on the wall. There's a froggy on the wall! It kind of looks like Lexi, this dog. I know it's meant to be a corgi, but I I'm just gonna say it's Lexi, because it looks like Lexi. Although she doesn't have the white bits on her face. <gasps> I love Fogo. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys some uh, names for the doggo. Uh, do we call it mushroom to make up for the fact that then we'll have a mushroom that's okay and alive? Do we call it Lexi because it kind of looks like Lexi? Or did you guys have some other suggestions? I'm trying to see the chart. Waffle, yeah, you guys were saying waffle as well. Um, yeah, I think mushroom could be a vibe. Oh yeah, cupcake, because it's a bakery. Oh, I think it should have like a bakey name, maybe. Uh, a lot of waffles. Sorry, I'm trying to see your chart like through the bottom. Lemon. Okay, go ahead and vote in this poll now. <laughs> And Super Duper Penguin! Thank you so much for subscribing with your Amazon Prime! Can you welcome Super Duper to the peaches, please? And just a reminder, if you do have um, Amazon Prime, like if you use it for fast delivery or for um, your TV shows, you can actually get free subscription to Twitch Prime. You just need to link them both on desktop. And then you will be able to subscribe for free, which is really cool. Stardew Valley reference for Waffle, yeah. I am going to vote for oh, between Lexi and Mushroom, but I think I'm going to go Mushroom because I think mentally it helps me with the fact that we lost Mushroom. So, yeah. I'm so tempted to send a frog hat to your P.O. box. What? what? Where does the frog hat thing come from? Because I saw... Was it G I saw wearing a frog hat the other day? I'm sure, like, G was wearing one. What? Where do why, why is frog hat so big at the moment? Mushi. Yeah, I can call him Shroom and Mo Mushi for sure. Okay, Mushroom number two is here, guys. Mushroom number two is here. There we go. Mushroom lives on. He never actually died. He just went to Star He went to um, Lemon Cake instead. So that's what happened. That is what happened. Um, don't even worry, your little heads. Why have I just got this? Oh my gosh, I just had to yeet it into the bin. Which feels wrong, but... <laughs> Okay, Mushroom the doggo. Mushroom was a girl. Oh my gosh. I th I'm doing my grandma. To my grandma, all dogs are boys and all cats are girls. <laughs> I don't know why she always does that, but she does. Also, people call Oliver and Darcy girls all the time. And Evie and Lexi, whenever people see them, they're like, oh, what's his name? And I'm like, it's, it's Lexi Lubrush. Okay, let's go ahead and pop some of these in here. Mushi isn't a very nice word in your language. What? Doesn't mushi mean mu mushi means something in Japanese? I'm sure it does. Oliver looks like a girl. What? Because he's pretty. He's very pretty. 
Uh, but yeah, people always think the cats are girls and the dogs are boys. I don't know why. I think that's just how people like say for, for like pets. Ash and Sam need their own home. Uh, Ash and Sam. Oh, I have some sad news for you. <laughs> are you on about for not so very? Ooh, I don't want to be the one to break that one. You need to catch up on the episodes, my love. You need to catch up. Ooh, someone else can break it. <laughs> oh no, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna open up. Oh, let me check the cat situation. We've got two cats. Two cats. And one of them is called Minnie and the other one is called Martine. So there we go. Minnie and Martine are the kitty cats today. Yeah. <laughs> Surin. Surin does need his own home, though. That's correct. Surin is an adult now. So what I'll probably do is just move Surin, like, out of the home. And um, then I will turn off. Um, like, I'll turn. I'll not make him part of, like, a played household. And then he will just do his own thing. He will, like, marry or have kids and do everything on his own. So that's good. You want us? Yeah, if we manage to get to the bun bun today. Yes! Ooh! Waffle Sunday looks like a vibe. Okay, let's pull you guys because we got a new recipe. Recipe! Do we want a carrot granola bar, a carrot pie, or a waffle Sunday? Oh, what was that waffle Sunday? Waffle Sunday. Go ahead and cast your votes now. Also, Lillian, May, thank you so much for the bids. Did I just buy more bids to get my 1,000 badge? Yes, I did. Love you always. Lillian, thank you so, so much. And enjoy your 1,000 badge, my love. And Shadora, thank you so much for being performance with your prime. I have absolutely enjoyed watching your streams and your YouTube videos when I have time off school. I just wanted to let you know that... Uh, niece, Niecicle extended the Not So Burry Challenge to three more generations, adding white, brown, and black. It's on her Tumblr. A few of you guys have said this. Um, I will definitely check those out. Thank you for the heads up. And yeah, the ver the poll options are Garbage, Garbage Reloaded, and Waffle Sunday. If you know what the reference for Garbage Reloaded is, please say it in the chat right now. <laughs> we'll play Life is Strange again next week, Lily. We are all just boycotting carrots and desserts. Yes. We 100% are. <laughs> the waffle Sunday does look good. Maybe we'll do a waffle Sunday day. Do any of you guys get the garbage reloaded? Uh, re reloaded like Matrix. Yes, Mal. Yes, Mal. And waffle Sunday wins. Yeah, it's meant to be a Matrix reference. <laughs> Bit of a... um. Is, is it a niche reference? I don't know. Growing up, everyone I know ever had always seen The Matrix. But I guess it's a little bit old now. Is The Matrix a movie everybody's still seen? Let me know in the chat. Or is that like a bit of a boomer thing to say nowadays? Am I a Matrix boomer? But yeah, growing up, like The Matrix was the film. We bought it for my cousin on VHS. How funny is that? VHS, yeah. You only saw it last year. I did like those movies, but have they dated? I don't know. Maybe they have. It has got young Keanu Reeves in it, though, which is very chef's kiss. Very chef's kiss. Um, I say this as a baker, so, you know. As a chef, you've never seen it. Well, I think that's like a bit of a generations thing. Um, because everyone I know had always seen The Matrix. But that first movie came out in, is it 1999? Or is it 97? I think it's 99. Because, like, it came out when it was, like, right before, like, Y2K and, like, the Millennium bug. Everyone thought the internet was going to shut down. And then the Matrix came out and it was like, ah! <laughs> but, yeah, that's what the blue and red pill reference is to, yeah. I've seen it because it's a classic. Um, yeah, it is a classic. But it is quite old now. Shrimp for a young Keanu Reeves. Oh, 100%. And the game! Yeah! Do you, oh my gosh, no, the fires. Do you guys remember the game? Was it on PlayStation 2? Was it on PlayStation? No, it would have been on PlayStation. 
Maybe PlayStation 2, actually. Maybe PlayStation 2. By the way, it was old. It was old. Is there going to be a fourth movie? I kind of hope if there is, though, that they don't... I don't know. I, I don't love the fact that Keanu Reeves is keep being casted for things that could go to, like, younger talent, you know? I don't know. They are making another movie. Wow. The more you know. Those movies are a good concept, though. I like the concept a lot, but I quite like, like, dystopian movies like that. It's a hard movie to explain. Yeah, it's 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 really hard to explain the Matrix, but it's really good. It's really good. Okay, lunchtime rush is here. The lunchtime rush has begun. I feel like the days are a bit longer. I feel like they've extended the days in this game a little bit. Or maybe it's just because I'm only baking cakes. But the days feel longer. They definitely do. I just want to get to lemon cake, you know? Oh, there's like a Matrix manga. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Like an anime type thing. It's like explaining Inception. Yeah, that's also a tough one to explain. Have I watched The Maze Runner? I think I have watched The Maze Runner. But I've never read the books. So I think if I'd read the books, maybe I'd prefer the books. Uh, yes, we were going to play It Takes Two today, um, but little Lexi Lubrush is, um, was super busy. So we're going to play It Takes Two on Thursday instead. So yeah. What did you do today? Yeah, I just ran my red, red velvet cake factory. No one else is allowed to eat anything except red velvet. It is the way. <laughs> it's a religion at this point. The Maze Runner books are hard to read. Ah. And what's that other one? Um, someone's someone's race. Someone's no. There's another one that I'm thinking of that's like a dystopian vibes, but I can't remember what it's called. I like those kind of movies though. I tried to enjoy, enjoy Divergent, but I just couldn't really get into Divergent. Yeah, I just couldn't really get into that. I don't think they did as well, did they? I like the Hunger Games one so. Hunger Games is great. No, I'm not thinking of Hunger Games. I'm thinking of something else. It's like a bit spacey, I think. I've not seen The Handmaiden's Tale. I've heard good things about it, but the premise is a bit depressing, I think. The waifu is the red velvet game. <laughs> okay, I need to start putting some things out to get sold. You like, Di you like Divergent? I, I watched it, but I just don't... I like the idea of it, but I, it just wasn't... I don't know, it wasn't vibey enough. It just was like a poor man's Hunger Games, I felt. The display is empty. I know, I'm on it, I'm on it. I've run out of fires, though. Ah! What happened to Monday? What do you mean? <laughs> what happened to Mondays? Yeah, I, someone tried to explain The Handmaiden's Tale to me and the story, like, they were like, so, in the future, and then they said that story, and I'm like, I don't like watching, like, I don't like watching when they combine, I don't like watching, like, violent, like, a specific type of, I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to upset anyone in the chat, but there's, like, a really specific type of violence on TV that I don't like watching, and I feel like it sometimes gets a bit overused. And I especially don't like when it's just thrown in there for like shock value. Like in Game of Thrones did it so much. Um, so I tend to not watch shows that do that. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've heard that The Handmaiden's Tale does that. So I, don't, I just don't want to see it. I just don't want to see it, you know? Yeah, and a lot of you guys agree. I just find it like, I just find it so unnecessary and upsetting. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff can be implied without having to act out the scenes. And another thing that really, really irritates me is when they show those scenes and also show nudity. I'm like, you're like showing women, like, I don't know. It feels like you're trying to appease like two things and they don't, they shouldn't be side by side. And I just don't like it. I don't know, maybe I'm a prude, but I don't like seeing that. Yeah, it's just not nice. It's not nice. 
Game of Thrones did that so much. They'd be like, oh, this really horrible thing is happening to this character, but like, here's their boobs. And it's like, why do you have to show that if you're showing that? You don't. Just keep, if you're gonna do the one thing, don't like tittle at your audience as well. Like, I just didn't like that. It really annoys me. Some people don't mind it, but I just find it, I just find it too much. Yes, we got the bugs, sorry. <laughs> Complete like little divergent there, but um, yeah, I'm glad you guys agree. I, I, it's got, I've seen it in so many shows now that even Ali like notices it and Ali like literally will say, oh, you can tell they've got a male director. Cause like, it's just so unnecessary and it's so often and like every show did it. Um, yeah, they did dial it down in Game of Thrones, but like, I don't, I just don't like it. Sorry if I'm a prude or if I'm a killjoy, but I just don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Uh, we got the Bugo mini game though, so that's great. And uh, it's Grace. Thank you so much for the bits, my love. Killer Bunny. Thank you so much for being here for two months. Thank you for the resub. At tier two, we're gonna try and unlock a bun bun for you today. And also for gifting a sub. If you're gifted by Killer Bunny, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Thank you so much for gifting Killer Bun Bun. Uh, yeah, Lexi had some stuff to do today, but we're gonna bit re um, replay it on Thursday. Yeah, that's why you want much Handmaiden's Tale or Game of Thrones. I am the same way. Out Outlander did it. Yeah, Outlander did it way too much too. And it's like, like I don't mind the. Sorry, this is like such an unnecessary conversation for the stream, but I don't mind that kind of stuff if it's in like a romantic loving scene. I don't want to see it in, like, a violent scene. I just... I don't know. I just feel like it's a really must... It's just so unnecessary, and I don't like it. Even some games do it. Yeah. It's just, like, such a way for your... Like, look how controversial my show is. Like, we're so gritty and edgy and raw. And it's like... Yeah, but there's a respectful ways to handle things, too. And I don't feel like you are doing it correctly. But anyway... I'm gonna go kill- I'm gonna catch some bugs now. I am gonna catch some bugs now. Um, where's my net? Here it is. Okay. <gasps> I don't get any music for the bugs. Usually there's like little mini game music, isn't there? But I don't have any mini game music. <gasps> is, is there any over here? Nope. Oh, I was taking a chance that there might be a bug I can't see. <sighs> top of them how was that not getting them <gasps> nice nice orange bug i always feel like they're just like rarer so they're cooler oh 16 16 is not bad 16 is not bad okay nice see it's a good thing you came by and can i go to my bedroom now Ooh, 167 dollars this is just it's a perfect day this is honestly why you don't ever need to do a varied menu in this game. It's kind of bad, but it's true. It is so true. Okay, guys, can we afford the cart? We can do. So let's go ahead and purchase the cart. And then let's pull you guys for some names. Sorry if that chart is a little bit upsetting for you guys. We just kind of went onto that mode and I wanted to like... It's something I've just noticed in a lot of TV shows recently. And I just find it really unnecessary. So I'm glad we could have that discussion. And now I'm gonna pull you guys for kitty cat names. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm gonna throw in two obvious ones. Um, and then, oh wow, I spelled my own cat's name wrong. Let's see what you guys are coming up with as well. Sh oh, it's a black cat. So any black cat names, Shadow is a great one. Um, Pepper is a good one as well. And what else? Luna is, oh, Salem. Yeah, let's go Salem, let's go Salem. Luna's very pretty as well, but I only have five spaces, so let's go for these five. Go ahead and vote for those now. And Ramsig, thank you so much for being for 10 months. Double happens. I can't believe it's done 10 months uh, with such an amazing co-worker. Yes, co-workers. I love how you try and inspire a younger audience as well as try and help them more experience. Keep up, keep up cooking like a chef. Uh, I hope you heard that. Keep up cooking like a chef. <laughs> Love you and your community. Thank you so much, Ramsig. Thank you so much for being here for 10 months as well. I appreciate that. Um, Mushroom and Pepper. That would actually be quite the vibe. Food related names would be quite good. I think I'm gonna also vote for Pepper because then they're both food related. So I put my vote into Pepper, but let's see what you guys vote for. 
Pepper reminds you of American Horror Story. I tried to watch that and I found it too scary. <laughs> I found it way too scary. Salem is your cat's name. Salem always, always reminds me of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but like the original series. Where the theme tune was like... Anyone else remember that? <laughs> Oliver and Darcy are on one percent. They are my real cat's names, if you're wondering. Okay, so we've got uh, Mushroom and Pepper. Pepper is the name of a kitty cat. So we've got the kitty cat. I still have fifty-three pounds, but I need to earn a little bit more money to buy everything else. And the bun bun is actually really expensive. So let's go to the next day. Oh, <gasps> look at them both, the babies. Posture check. Thank you, Lilium. My well, posture has not been good today. Um, yeah, there they are. There is little Pepper. Uh, let's give this some love. Oh, I can stroke today because I don't have the tray. Oh, I had the tray bug yesterday. Now I can like touch them. I touch you the cat. I touch you the dog. I do a little love. I do a little love. Here you go, babies. Oh, the puppets. Hey. 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 Forget bacon. Let's just do this all day. This is like literally how it looks when I struck Darcy because he just keeps walking away and I'm like, love me Darcy! <laughs> outfit change! Let's get some numbers in the chart for the new outfit gang. Check the bookshelf. I will, I will, I will, I will. I am still the red velvet cake factory. I am, I am. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I never know what the outfit is until I look back um, because I keep looking at the chart. And this is a cute outfit. I like the little rainbow. I like the hair with the little bun bun at the back. And we've got like a little um, paper ship, paper boat. Paper boat. Is that a paper boat? Just reminds me of Stuart Little for some reason. But yeah, there we go. And um, I want to set this area up. Can I like sit and eat here or I want to set this up? I think that's one of the upgrades that we'll get soon. So let's check the bookshelf. Oh, <gasps> Wednesday the April 29th. Whoa, what happened? I'm a ghost now. Wait, I can't even need no more break bed anymore. What am I supposed to do? So that means that... Uh, Miss Bon Bon died like a year ago. Oh jeez, this is kind of going to get a bit dark, isn't it? <laughs> it is indeed a boat, thanks. <laughs> um, we also, that's all we've got so far. We've only got one thing so far. And it's kind of Sarge. It is a bit Sarge. Hmm. Okay, bye you. Be good. You be good too. I don't know what- do these guys poop in here all day? I don't know, this is just very worrying. But let's head downstairs. And it's cake time! The only way we do, it's the red velvet cake store. I gave up on everything else, I chose profits, I chose the capitalism lifestyle. So this is where we are right now. Because without this, how do I buy my bun bun? That is the reason for it all. Poor wifey, I know right? Although, maybe that's why she's so mad. She's only had a year to stew about being dead. I'd still be kind of low-key kind of mad. And then I just sweep in here and, like, take over her bakery. Well, wow, rude. Okay, we've got four cats. They are called... Uh, oh, return to game. They're called Hannah. They are called Banana Cat. They are called Undead Princess. And they are called Sophie. Those are the kitty cats. This outfit in real life is quite cute. I can basically do this outfit, but the top would be white from the rainbow top that I wear. So, I can do the outfit. I can recreate the Z fit. There we go. Although I kind of want some new denim shorts because I don't think I've got any like nice high-waisted denim shorts. And I always prefer high-waisted. I just like the vibes more. So, yeah. Okay, let's get a few of these little guys out. And then we'll serve the next ones. Hi, Claire. What have I missed? Uh, we've unlocked the bedroom for the bakery. And we now have ourselves a doggo and a cat upstairs. And we are saving up for the bun bun. 
it might be a little while, but then I've also kind of low-key figured out a way to break the game and just get like 150 pounds per day. So, um, all I do is break, break red velvet cakes. That's it. And it just gives us loads of money. <laughs> and it's really easy when you're only baking one thing. So, yeah, it's the perfect... It's the perfect plan for my evil... My evil plan to get a bun bun. <laughs> she doesn't sound that evil when I put it like that, does it? Not that evil at all. I did crack the game. I found the exploit. I found the cheat. I found the way to win. And I ain't even mud. I really want to play like in my spare time. If any of you have seen that new game, it's like a rogue grindy game where like if you die, like that's it. It's called like Resolve or something. I really want to try it. But I'm so trash at those games. Did you guys see when I tried to play Dark Souls? It was the biggest cringe fest on earth. I just couldn't get the timings right. I'm not a very patient person. And I was so bad at it. But it looks really good. <laughs> oh, come sit down so I can immediately serve you. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. There you go. That was the fastest service that person had ever had. When are we going to play in It's Takes 2? Gracie, we're going to be playing it on Thursday. Dark Souls is hard, but... The good thing is I was so bad at the game that people got so mad in the comments that I got- I made a video reading out hate comments, so I actually got two videos out of it, so... <laughs> Who was really laughing? Uh, it was me because I got two videos from people being real salty that I was bad at Dark Souls. Because people really hate it when you're not good at that game. <laughs> so yeah. Two videos for the press of one. In you go! All these people know mad at me for playing Dark Souls, but are they as good at me at Lemon Cake? I don't think they are, gang. I don't think they are, so... Who really had the last laugh? I think it was me. Uh, uh remembering the easiest game ever. That game, that was a pro YouTuber move. <laughs> it was a pro YouTuber move. That's what you gotta do. You gotta try and see... see instead of seeing it as like a, oh no, you're like, okay, how can I... How can I turn this into a pro YouTuber move? That's exactly what I did. There we go. <gasps> Ali Pali is back with the doggos. Are you ready for some screeching? Are you ready for the doggos to come running in? Like, mommy, we went on a walk. I love red velvet cake too. I absolutely love red velvet cake. Although, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I love you guys, but you ruined red cat velvet cake for me because I swear I've had it since and it tastes like chocolate cake. And I was so fooled into thinking that it didn't taste like chocolate cake that I always thought it tasted different and now I've tasted it. I'm like, oh no. Barking intensifies. <laughs> yeah, now I'm like, yeah, it really does just taste like, oh no. <laughs> It's chocolatey energy cake though. It definitely has chocolate energy about it and I could taste it. I most definitely could taste it. You're working through a migraine. Oh no, Sophia. If you need to take time away and, and maybe be in a dark room away from noise and light, that might be the best thing. It do be chocolate cake, it does. It does, it's just a lie. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. Portal wonders, guys. Portal wonders. And let's get this out to table one. Next one I will put out for sale. Light change. Was there a light change mod? Did I miss a light change? Sorry. Cool. Look, I've just nailed this. I've got the formula. <gasps> Cherry pie! Oh my gosh, the cake that Ali does not think is real. There was to yellow. Okay, let's first of all do the light change to yellow. Um, Here we go. So yellow. <gasps> Hello, little flea. Hello, little flea. Hello, 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 Good girl. Good girl. Oh, 
Ugh. We do talk nonsense. I don't even know. I literally couldn't even tell you what I was just talking about then. I talk absolute nonsense whenever it's pets. Was What was I even saying? What did I even say? Lexi is fully grown now. She is fully grown Bubba now. Actual fully grown Bubba vibes. Um, I'm going to poll you guys on the recipe. So do we go for carrot granola bar, carrot pie, or cherry pie? Uh, granola, uh, carrot pie, or cherry pie? Uh, let me know which one you guys want to vote for. Um, <laughs> baby Evie was the cutest baby, literally. Pets or babies? I just talk simlish. <laughs> you just call yours cute and squeeze them. We talk like nonsense to the doggies. We definitely do. Um, Ramsick, did I get your 10 months? I did. Thank you. And Tease Renity, thank you so much for me for two months. Thank you for the resub. I'm so happy to be part of the lovely Peach community. I enjoyed watching your streams while I'm studying. I hope your studying's going okay, my love. And also, Amber, thank you so much for being for five months in a row. High five. So, Ali doesn't believe that cherry pie is a real thing. And the weird thing is, I like talk about this probably once every few months at least. And yet in our like almost six year relationship, yeah, I've never actually just bought a cherry pie to prove my theory. <laughs> Which I think is on me at this point. It's It feels like a conspiracy. I'm not even sure if they're real anymore. <laughs> you sure a cherry pie as Asda? 80% of you guys want cherry pie. Good decision, good decision. Um, Yeah, I've never made him one. Or like, and I've never bought one. And at this point, I'm like, maybe, maybe they're not real. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have just made them up. Because this is an awful long time not to have bought one, you know? Yeah, the song Cherry Pie. They wouldn't just make a song if it wasn't real, you know? Cherry Pies do exist! Cherry Pies do exist! No, proven they don't exist. We've never seen one in our life. No! Please. I can even bake it in this game if I want. This is made up game. No. <laughs> the recipe is real! I'm making red velvet cake, click. Do you ever make lemon cake? No, because I've not unlocked it yet. That's the final recipe. That's how you beat the game. Are you almost there? Yeah. I also got a dog called Mushroom and a cat called Pepper. So They're upstairs in my bedroom. Okay, kiss for me now. Do you believe cherry pies are real now? No. He said no, guys. <laughs> I need to just buy one. Maybe we should have a stream where I make a cherry pie. Are they hard to make? Am I setting myself up for failure here? Are they difficult? Cherry pies are, too, are, are real. Even at all. I can't remember the last time I even saw one. I'm pretty sure when we've been in a supermarket, I've picked one up and shown it, like, thrust it into Ali's face, like, look, it's real. But I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. They're not too hard to make. Okay. I've got, like, these cherries in, like, syrup that have just been, like, sat in my kitchen for, like, so long. We got them as a gift. Um, so maybe I should use those. Is the video gone live? Did I not put the video live? It should be up now. It should be up. Hopefully. If it is, uh, the mods will update the, the exclamation mark new mod command. But if not, then that's on me. <laughs> Means I probably forgot. This should be a YouTube video today. Yeah, they're like glazed cherries and they're all like in a big tubey thing. So, um, yeah, I could use those. Yeah, it's come out amazing. New mod command. Wait, is there not a new vid, vid new video command? Did I just make that up? Is there not one, Beth? Have I just totally made that up? I'm so sorry. I thought that was a command. Lol. Okay, I need to make that one. <laughs> uh, please bring the coffee. And then I bring the cake. Perfect. Did I say new mod command? Sorry, I meant to say the new video mod command. Yeah, if you say, type exclamation mark new mod, a new mod just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> DJ the Jump Pump, thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months in a row. Twitch baby, and ten months in total. Double high fives. Ten months already. Thank you for all the laughs and smiles. Love you and the peaches so much. Thank you. And, oh my gosh, how are three cats still left? What? How do all those kitty cats not get adopted? So rude. So rude. Okay, 191. 
which means I can afford the window nook. Add cozy cushions and a window nook. Yes, I love this. I love this. And um, let's go ahead and get that. And then the other thing, this is going to make it harder for me, but I'm kind of tempted to have a cherry pie day just to spite Ali. Where's pies? Yeah, should we do cherry pie day? I'm going to do cherry pie day. You guys are talking about the toilet roll. Ali and I disagree about this. Ali and I really disagree about this. Uh, Ali likes to say this is the wall. Uh, no. Yeah, this is the this is the wall. And then this is the toilet roll. And this is the toilet roll flap. Ali likes it there, but I like it on this side. I like against the wall. Because then if you push the toilet roll against the wall, you can snap the toilet roll. So I have it that way. But... I know that my way is controversial. Very controversial behavior. Very controversial. Hey, Buffle. So let me just say hi to Bean because she just came back from a walk. Hi, Buffly Boo. Did you have a nice walkie? Did you have a nice walk? Did you do an adventure? Did you see a squiggle? Did you see a squiggle, Buffa? Did you catch him? Did you catch him? Oh, do, 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 do. There we go. There we go. Should we pull it? Okay, let's do a pull. <laughs> Lou roll. Ultimate debate. Claire way or Ali way? <laughs> okay, you guys can vote in that poll. Baby Budge, thank you so much for for 10, 11 months. Thank you for sharing your smile with us almost every day for over a year. Love you to Pete's faces. Thank you so, so much. Lexi just come into wild. Why, Lexi? Why are you attacking? <laughs> I don't know if that means she loves it or hates it. <laughs> what is she doing? She's wild and we'll watch this for a while because that's face is very entertaining. Uh, thank you for sharing your smile with us every day for over a year. Love you to pieces. Thank you so much, baby budge. And Gabby, 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 thank you so much for the bids. I just baked a strawberry cake. So fitting for watching lemon cake. I didn't even know strawberry cake was a thing. What? That sounds so tasty. So tasty. She is rubbing her scent on it. I think she just, she just drank water and she doesn't like the water around her fluff. And um, Ultra um, Chilchil, Ultra Ultra Chilchil, I think that's right. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime. I can welcome Ultra Chilchil to the peaches. The Claire way is the ultimate way, most definitely. She's getting herself wound up now. She's going to get angry. Oh, she came real bad. She came real bad. Um, let me make it so that you guys can see them. Um, where is the bean cam? Nope. There we go. Bean cam, bean cam, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? No one knows what you're gonna do next. Okay, she's gone over there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it on the bean because she's in a bed and she looks cute. It's not very level, is it? There we go. Yeah, it was Lexi. You guys say the alleyway? Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Georgia, thank you for the bits. I like streams like this, so we all just talk nonsense. P uh, plus, also, Ali's way wins. No, stop. My way is the better way. I hate this. I hate it here. You're always bullying me. My way makes sense because... Can I sit up there? Uh, I like my window nook. This is cute. Uh, because... Oh, look at the cat on the bed. Oh, that's so cute. Um... Like, literally, you just push the toilet roll against the wall. Like, you just go, poop, and then you can snap it. Like, you just pull it and then push to snap. Ugh, I just think it's easier. I think it's easier. Gabby, Abby, thank you for the bits. I just wait for it to cool down so I can frost it. Oh, so it's like a cold pie. Is it like a cold cake? It sounds really good. Oh, it's a cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds really, really good, Gabby. Love that. Your turret roll's too far from the wall to do that. Uh, see, if you've got it against the wall, you can do that. You can do that. The kitty is being very baby right now. This is our new window nook. So that's pretty cute. That is cute. I feel like this is the next bit. And then after that, we can get bun bun. 
So let's see if there's anything else here. No, no. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's quite hard to like. You can only click one thing. Okay. So this is Tuesday, October the 13th, 2020. I've had a visitor for the first time in forever today. Claire was so kind and helpful. We were able to open the bakery again for a few days. I hope they'll come back. Um, nice use of gender neutral pronouns there. Also, how is it that she, the Miss Bonbon, bon cannot bake, but can write in a diary? Can somebody riddle me that? Can somebody riddle me that, please? That makes no sense to me. Little, a little conundrum for you there, guys. Also, we're gonna do an outfits change, so let's get some numbers in the chat. Yeah, it's a big plot hole. It's a big plot hole. <laughs> Conspiracy! Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, we are looking so cute today. Liking the little brown cords. Adorable, adorable energy. There we go. And uh, Wolf Anna, thank you so much for the bits. A person I watch on TikTok who bakes and cooks different things like sauerkraut chocolate cake. What? Sauerkraut chocolate cake? So there is a lot of cakes like cherry strawberry and gooseberry. Cherry cake exists. I baked it by myself. I, I completely, yes, Wolf, I agree. It's Ali we need to convince. I need to do a cherry pie stream. We gotta do a cherry pie stream. She looks a bit like you. She's got a cute look. I think as well because it's not like um, the big hat, so like the crazy colored hair. She's a bit more relatable today, which I like a lot as well. Today we're making cherry pie, so I gotta brush the cow. And we need to put loads of cherries on the belt, because today, it's cherry pie day. Not you. Not you. So it's just to try and really hammer home the fact that cherry pie is real. The only thing we will be baking today are cherry pies. <laughs> oh, I still got space. I still got space. There we go. And I can grab one more and I can put it on here. There we go. So cherry pie. Our first ever time baking it. So it's probably not going to taste the best, but cherry pie day it is. And what did Lexi just do? Lexi just kissed Evie. Oh, she's so baby. Lexi's here. She gets a little bit warmer than Evie um, because of her floof. So she likes to sit like where there's a bit of a breeze, which is why she's sat over there. Lexi's fur is really smart fur because Evie's fur, like Evie's too hot in the summer and she's too cold in winter. Whereas Lexi seems more or less fine all year round. Like she's got like a double coat. So it keeps like a layer of air close to her skin. Um, and that layer that it traps like close to her skin stays more or less the same temperature because it's in between the two coat layers. So it's like really smart, like, oops, I still got one cherry. Uh, it's a really smart way to um, grow fur. And so yeah, she stays at a good temperature. She is a little fluff ball and oh my gosh, she can get, she gets naughty very easily because she's double coated. Oliver is also double coated, but um, Darcy isn't. Oh, oh no, open. <laughs> I've I have made an error, guys. The store is open, and I need to get these <gasps> three cuts, and they're three different cuts. They're called Rudelbug, Bumblebee, and Purple Paper Hearts. Those are the cats today. Kitty cats for the day. And okay, let's get you with your cute eyes. There you go. And please don't burn. You're closest to burning. Let's get you out. Somebody else buy a pastry, please. Puppy Licky Licking Evie lives in my brain rent free. Oh my gosh. She's still very licky, you know. She's still. Oh no, this one. Ah! A pastry is burning. Oh my gosh, no. Quick. Oh. Okay, it's a little bit browner, but it's still tasty, I promise. Uh, yeah, she's still very licky. She never lost that, like, lickiness. She's still very licky to this day. It's really cute. A little bit annoying, because she likes to lick you on the morning to try and get you to wake up, and that's quite annoying. But she's a good baby. Did we get a light change mods? Sorry if I've missed one. Uh, let's get some cherries. See, this is what why uh, red velvet cake is elite, because you don't ever need to do this. 
And this takes time. Like, I've got to wait for the cherry to grow and, like, put it on here. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, but red velvet cake does not require that. So red velvet cake is god tier. Is this game free? No, this game is not free. Uh, I don't think it's overly expensive, but it isn't free. Just gonna grab some more of these. Come on, Cherry! Come on, Cherry! There we go. And can I get one more? I can. Come on, Cherry! There we go. You want to meet Oliver in person? What was that? Oh, I can't see the Oliver comment anymore. But Oliver, Oliver's very baby. Oliver is very baby. He's quite like a mongy cat, but I kind of love him for that. Our cats are good. They'll never, like, scratch or bite you. And you can, like, snuggle their tummies and they like that. They're totally fine with that, which is cute. I always don't like it when your cats lie on their back. And then they're like, oh, scratch my tummy. And then when you, you scratch their tummy, they just bite you. And you're like, dude, what the hell? Why would you just show me your tummy if you were just going to bite me? It's so annoying. Mixed signals. Uh, but our cats don't do that. Because I didn't let them do it as puppies. I was like, no. Illegal behavior. We won't allow it. There we go. Final cherry. Oh, wait. I've got too many cherries. <gasps> grab. And grab you. You can go to table number four. Oh, cherries. Cherries definitely. Like, it's nice to do it just to rub it into Ollie's face. But cherry is not the one because uh, it's too much fuffing. It's too much fuffing around waiting for the cherries to grow, which I don't love. Come on, grab that. And it's not even lunchtime rush yet, you know? Too much fuffing. Red velvet cake is elite. Sorry, mods, I'm gonna just hit pause. Did I get a light change? I missed that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Orange! I thought it was, but I just wanted to double check. Okay, so let's go orange and full of bean. Let's also go orange. Very warm. Oh, well, super orange. Can I make this one more orange? No, this one's pretty much full orange. Orange. Cozy! Orange, like my chest. <laughs> okay, let's keep crack -a it on. When your pets give love to each other, it's very cute. Yeah, I wish ours did it more. Um, but they don't really uh, very much. Like, the cats won't really sit and cuddle. Which breaks my heart. But the cats always want to sleep on our bed at the moment. Which is cute, but it, it is kind of annoying. <laughs> because they're very shuffly. Cats are very shuffly. Also, they, they have bells on them now because I'm sick of them killing stuff. So I put bells on them. So the bells wake me up. So they're not allowed to sleep in the bedroom anymore. It's banned. I banned it. Okay, let's get you. No, not you. You. Is it here? And another? Come on. It takes too long. It takes too long to spawn a cherry. I guess you should have two recipes. One that's like a cherry one and one that isn't. That would probably make sense, right? Okay, that, that's going to start burning in a sec. Your cats hate each other. Oh no. Ours definitely don't hate each other. Uh, but they're just not very cuddly. But they do like each other. Cats don't understand the vegan lifestyle. They don't. They definitely don't make a very good uh, vegan pet. You can get your cut vegan food where the taurine has been synthesized rather than uh, derived from animals, but we just feed ours royal cannon. Oh my gosh, someone's not going to be happy with this. Uh, we just get ours royal cannon. Oh, not happy. Um, main, coon, main coon food because um, Oliver is not fussy, but Darcy has a funny tummy, so he gets his version of the food. That person was so not happy, lol. My cherry! And then I'm just gonna grab the cherries like this because I can't bother to wait for them. There we go, I picked the wrong one up. What a spoon, what an absolute spoon. 
Oh, please don't burn. Please don't, please don't burn. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Quick. Ooh. Nice. And who needed it? Who got the little mug of... There is you. Nice. Nice. And that one there, and that one over here. Sorry, but as soon as you add a food and fruit into it, it just makes it so much more stressful. I don't like it. I miss Red Velvet Cake Shop. That was the best cake shop. It genuinely just was. There we go. We'll go back to that one because I feel like it's the easiest way to get the upgrades to. Uh, you first. And those guys will stay in the store for a bit, so... I'll get some of these out instead. There we go. I don't think you can put the wrong ingredients in. I just don't think it will let you do it if you try and do that. I think that's how it does it. So you've got to put, like, the right ingredient in. Let's unexist cherry pie. <laughs> Ali was right all along. <laughs> Okay, let's see who's about to leave my restaurant. Let's get you into there. And then number one. Yep, there you go. Can I make another one? I don't think I can. There's only three people. We'll just wait for these ones. It's fine. Let's get you to number four. Bada bing, bada bong. Table two. Gets this one. Bada bing, bada bong. And then I've got a coffee cup for some reason into the trash with you and there we go table three Ta -da! and two cats got sold two cats isn't too bad but it's not enough you know um purple paper hearts thank you for the bits you married seven starred you yesterday yay hopefully you get some baby soon and Teresa, thank you so much for the one, two, three hundred bits. Hey Claire, I've been a peachy since before we were peachies. Been watching your videos for ages and now I'm officially a graduate. So proud of you in this community. Thank you for always being there for all of us. Would love to meet you someday. Teresa, me too. And massive congratulations on your graduate graduation. That's incredible. Good job, good job. Also, Undead Princess, thank you so much for the bits. I just learned today that Skittles may give me headaches too. Me and my new girlfriend met up for the first time the other day and she gave me Skittles, uh, which I was eating today. Yeah, Skittles give me really bad headaches. Anything sugary, unfortunately, does give me a headache, which is not fun. Um, but yeah, you might be the same as me. And oh my gosh. Why does it smell like sewers? Either Evie's doing some really bad farts or our toilet system's just exploded, but it smells like sewers everywhere. Um, also, uh, Crime Sosia, thank you. So, Ciceri? Ciceri? So, so, Crime Ciceri? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Sound really French for some reason. Thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. Please go welcome Crime Ciceri to the peaches, please. And Ass Kick Princess. Thank you so much for being for three months with your Prime. I absolutely adore you and your content. I've never had a favorite content creator before. I stumbled across Willow's story in my YouTube feed and got hooked. I'm so happy that I found you and you make every day a little bit better with your energy. Thank you so much, Ass Kick Princess. I actually want to ask you guys. Um, the Sims have announced that there's a bunch of new, like, packs and, or, like, packs, what is it? There's packs, expansions, and kits. And there's another one. Such a good Sims creator. But if another pack does come out soon, so, like, a big one, like, another Island Living, or, like, obviously not Island Living, but something like that, or, um, like, Strangerville, or anything like that, how would you guys like me to do it? How do we do the next pack? Do we do, um, do we incorporate into Not So Berry or new series specific to that pack? Pick to pack. New ser series specific. I'll just put new series. I can't fit it in. <laughs> kind of interesting to know what you guys would prefer. Uh, we could do, yeah, we could do, like, a Rags to Riches, but all in, like, a new park, which I think I would really like, um, because I like doing Rags to Riches challenges. I just find them really fun. Okay, I don't have enough money to buy the table and cake. Uh, we all know why. It's because we mess with perfection. We changed the menu when there was literally no reason to ever change the menu. 
Let's put red velvet only back on the menu. That's the best way to do things, clearly. And Sophia Stag, thank you so much for being here for 11 months. Can't believe it's been 11 months. Wow, these streams are so calming compared to every other game, but also get so chaotic. I love it. Hope you're having a great day, peachy love. Thank you so much, Sophia. Um, yeah, in these streams, we usually get to just chat about a bunch of other stuff, which I really like. So uh, that's good. We kind of get to chew the fart and talk nonsense, which is always fun. So is there another diary entry? Okay. Today we celebrated the reopening of the bakery and my favorite apprentice baker, Claire, really came back. It's been so fun having them around to rebuild the bakery together. I love that. Okay, so we kind of make Miss Bun Bun's life a little bit happier, don't we? Yeah, Bun, this game to me is actually called Red Velvet Cake. It's not called Lemon Cake at this point. Uh, and should we do another outfit, gangling? Let's do another outfit. The cat is cute sleeping on the bed. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> oh, very French. Very French. I'm always a fan of like this sort of look. Like the roll neck with the skirt. Very much there for that. This is adorable. Kinda looks like you. Yay, I like it when it like... <gasps> you guys, 77% would like it as a new series. That's what we'll do. I have no idea if or when a pack is coming out, but I just kind of want to be ready for it um, and know what to do. So let's get on with opening this bakery the way this bakery should always have been run. I, I, I'm glad we tried with start cherry pies just to like, you know, prove Ali wrong. Three cats. The cats are called um, Dolphin Girl, Lauren, and Georgia. There we go. Um, but yeah, we will never mess with... Prof Why is it still on cherry pie? Oh my gosh, I nearly had a heart attack. I literally nearly had a heart attack then. Game, how dare you? How could you do that to me, you big troll? A big troll. What's the new park? They literally, they, they haven't announced a new park. But they announced like a roadmap, I think, for new stuff that is coming this year. So I'm just going by that. That is it, guys. Don't worry. Wait, there's a new. There's a new. I, they've announced. I'm sure they have. Am I just like? Didn't they announce that like their roadmap included like a bunch of new stuff this year? It's been announced. There's basically hints on Twitter. There we go. That's what I'm going by. But it was more when the last pack came out. What was the last pack? Something came out and I just incorporated it into Not So Berry. And a lot of people kept asking me like, Claire, when are you starting the new series? When are you starting the new series? And I'm like, I'm not. I'm just going to put it in Not So Berry instead. Whereas I think a lot of people wanted a new series. So I'm just making sure we don't run into that again. Snowy Escape, exactly. So in Snowy Escape, I just had Scarlet visit Kyoshi in Mount Komarebi. But I never actually had a Snowy Escape series. Um, which I actually didn't mind because I don't know how I would have made that into a whole series anyway. But the next one, we could do like um, a Regs to Riches. I think that would be quite fun. But I probably would want to do it with somebody else's save file because I like having different NPCs. So if anybody else has a good save file where there's like bars and restaurants in every world, please let me know. Because I've already tried the little Simsy one. The Plum Bella one I've tried as well. The Plum Bella one I like because all this all the townies are like attractive. <laughs> in Plum Bella's save file, which is great. Um, but yeah, if anyone else has a good one, we could use that for it. Because I don't want it to like... I don't want to start a new save and it's like, oh look, here's Bob Pancakes. I'm just like, nah. I, you're still shrimping for Kiyoshi. Yeah, Kiyoshi was a beautiful sim. Very impressed with them for that one. Well done, Sims team. Good job. Uh, there you go. Wow, that cake. Do you see the angle on that cake? That cake was uh, full on tilt. Full tilt. And table three. There you go. Uh, I want her to give coffee to the other tables. That's why I'm not serving them. There we go. Sim Lissy's got a good one. Okay, that's good to know. Because one thing I know a lot of creators do is like, 
They won't put restaurants in unless the park, like, allowed for restaurants and stuff. So, like, you know, you don't have stuff you can't use in certain parks. But I prefer, like, I like a bar and restaurant in every world. So, like, that is more preferable to me than, like, that's how I prefer it. Why are all my cakes at full tilt? What is going on? Why are they all fully tilted? <laughs> the pancakes are everywhere. The, the pancakes are even infiltrating my current save. Like, Celia married into the pancakes. And I'm like, are you kidding me, Celia? And there's more to that story as well. You'll see in tonight's episode. There's more to that story now. I'm like, great. Because I was just going to break them up, but things have changed. The situation has changed, so I can't just do that, which is annoying. Oh, nice. Double fire. Double fire. Um, Why is the cooking going so slow? And I've got nothing for sale. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, cakes! Don't forsake me now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm literally just staring at this cooker waiting for it. And I even gambled on the wrong one as well. How annoying. Oh Jesus. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. <gasps> We've done it. We've done it. Yes. Yeah. And a light changed to royal blue. We've got, um, we've unlocked the lemon cake, guys. Well, if you guys vote for it, we've unlocked lemon cake, which is obviously super amazing and actually also end game. So there we go. We've got a royal blue light change. Beanie is a uh, blue bean right now. And lemon cake, we've beat the game. We've actually got to finish off the bedroom now, though. Okay, if you guys don't vote for this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Okay, but, um, oops, how did I do that? I just deleted it. Go ahead and vote right now. And Freckled Lou, thank you so much for your performance with your Prime. Thank you for your uplifting energy. Thank you for your resub, my love. And sugar cubes, thank you so much for being for two months. Just wanted to thank you for making content. Your content has got me through lots of um, anxiety and panic attacks. Peachy love, peachy love to you as well, sugar cubes. Thank you so so much. And I hope um, I'm glad to be there to try and help you through these things. I hope things have got better, my love. You voted for I cry. Don't do this to me. <gasps> I'm gonna have to like vote as well. <laughs> We've almost got lemon cake. We've almost got lemon cake. These have been here since like level like 12. I swear to God. <laughs> I cry the best recipe. Guys, stop it. Stop. No, vote for lemon cake. Don't do this to me. <gasps> you big trolls. You big troll! <laughs> oh my gosh! I cry got 48% of the vote. Look how tactical you are as well. All voting for when I cry. You guys! Wow! <laughs> Killer Bunny, thank you so much for the bits! I think my other bits donation got lost anyway, so you can only choose one of your pets. Which one do you choose? It's for fun art. Oh, that is a tough question. I'm scrolling back, by the way, to see if I missed your message. Oh, I will make a cherry pie and send it for you so you can prove once and for all that it exists. Tasty, I love that. You guys are such trolls wanting me to suffer. I'm going to click this just to make sure I click it. Um, I couldn't choose one. I couldn't choose one. I love them all so much. But my original baby is Oliver. He was the first. Um, although Evie is like my little soul dog, Oliver was here first. Uh, Ali and I said that if we ever broke up, which we won't ever, but if God forbid we did, I would take Oliver and um, Evie and Ali would take Darcy and Lexi. Like we already decided that. It's depressing to think about, but like, I think you need to have a plan for your pets so you don't end up in like a big fight. 
Um, so I would take Oliver and Evie, and Ali would take Lexi and Darcy. He would take Chaos. I would take Sleepies. So, uh, yeah, Oliver's my original baby, so I probably will pick him for this. Um, okay, Lemon Cake on the odd. Before I accidentally click the wrong thing. <laughs> you guys, this is a tricksy. And a customer is about to leave. Oh my gosh. Have we given them the cake and the tea? The coffee? <gasps> oh my gosh, they are not happy. Well, I don't blame them. I would not be happy either. <sighs> Your dog was a rescue from a divorced family. Oh no, that makes me so sad. Yeah, we, we've like, he's happy for your dog now because he's with your family. Um, but yeah, we already know how we'd split things. It's it's like contingency for like just in cases, um, but it's it's not gonna happen. Oh, the bean has moved. Let me uh, move that in just a sec. Uh, you're the biggest ship I've made for four years since from the start. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think um, we've got a very solid relationship. So that's good. Very solid, very healthy. And I think one thing that I think we probably both think about is like setting a good like example for how a healthy relationship looks as well. Because I think it's good to have examples of that too. Um, so yeah, that's definitely like, I think a good thing. Because we do, so it's very much love and respect, you know? Very much love and respect. We rarely like... Obviously, couples get into bickers and arguments, but we never, like, get into vicious arguments. And we never, like, say cruel things to each other because you can't take those things back. So, it's best just to never say it. Obviously, you're going to get heated sometimes and get frustrated. But just, I think in arguments, never say things to a loved, per loved one that you can't take back because you'll regret it. You will regret it. There we go. And it's the end of the day. Do, 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 do. Get away from me, eggs. I am vegan. And I'm going to get ready for the next day because I like to make customers wait. We like to make them suffer. Who else was planning this wedding in 2018? <laughs> you won. Oh my gosh. I love that. I was probably doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, one more cake for on here. And then I need to make one more. I think Ali was a slow proposer. I always tease him for that. It's like, you are too slow. Oh, they're out of firewood. Okay, table two has had this coffee. So you get that. And then this for you. Oh, did I give it to the wrong table? No, I thought I gave us the right one. Hmm. Got space for one more cake. When is the next not so burial? It came out tonight. <laughs> The next one will be on Friday, because we do throwbacks on Thursdays now. Which is fun. Sometimes you watch the proposal video for emotions. <laughs> I find it sometimes hard to watch myself bark if I feel like I look really derpy. I feel like I look a little bit derpy in that video. But it is a very cute video. I just got really overwhelmed. Like, from the minute it started happening, I just started crying straight away. There was, like, no pause. As soon as I got the first card, I was just a blubbery mess and I couldn't hold it together. I just couldn't hold it together. Yeah, we've had a really long proposal because of COVID. That was never the original plan, but it's kind of how it's ended up, hasn't it? Um, also, Betty Boop, thank you so much for the 369 months, Switch baby. Um, I have some things I would love to talk about you, but I can't message you and it's kind of personal. Um, oh, sorry, let me just get this on Bean. I I'm always like, I, I try and reply to tweets and stuff. Um, ooh, bugs. But I don't necessarily, like, I, I, I can't open my messages for personal stuff because I would just get completely inundated. And I also have to, like, try and have some kind of, like, it's my own mental health too. If I was getting, if, if I was trying to advise people on, on stuff all the time, which I'm not qualified for, one, I wouldn't be giving you guys the best advice. It's much better for you guys to speak to somebody more professional. But two, um, I'm not trained for my own mental health to give advice all the time either, so... Yeah, that is just, um, it's just, it's something that I have to do. I'm sorry, Betty Boop. But you can always chit chat within the peaches in this community as a safe community to talk about stuff too. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be the healthiest for me. I've tried doing it in the past and it's, um, and like, 
it's just I've just got to look after my own mental health a little bit too because I'm a bit of a softy <laughs> and tiger cut thank you so much for for six months in a row i hope you've had a good six months tiger cut is um miss bonbon bon around no um but i am let me catch some bugs let's go 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 where they are nice nice Ooh. uh oh nice 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 Nice. Oh, there we go. And oh, there we go. Oh, I feel like I'm doing quite good. Oh, this feels very. Oh my gosh, I don't want to. 18 bugle of yes. <laughs> Pro bug catcher. 18 I think is my new record yeah I had an um I had it in the past where somebody in the community was a lot of people instantly like started bombarding me with messages being like oh this person's about to do something stupid la, 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 la. not stupid but I don't I don't want to say what it is because it's like triggering themes so I got really panicky and was like dming this person a bunch and then they, that like, I was at a family event at the time and I just didn't spend any time with my family because I was so worried about this person. Um, and I, it just kind of afterwards, I was like, I don't, I like, I can't do that because I can't advise that person in that circumstance. Like I'm not trained for that. Um, and it's just very heavy. And then also there's always the like, some people will be legitimate and they'll be true. And like, there's that, but there's also people that might do that even if it isn't the case. And I don't think that's fair on me or on people that have been through that stuff, you know? So yeah, I just be, I'm just quite careful with that stuff now. More so than I was um, before, but I've also had some really lovely personal interactions with people as well that I would never take back. Even if I wouldn't necessarily do that stuff as much anymore, I've still had some really rewarding and lovely things too. Um, but I just have to be a little bit more careful too. Um, also, because honestly, <laughs> my my own mental health is a, bit, a little shaky too, so I'm in the same boat. <laughs> And Ubernugs, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you're gifted by Ubernugs, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. I am really happy with uh, my 18 bugs. I'm real happy about that. Very happy about that. <laughs> um, so there we go. 146 profits. Can I now afford? I can. A table and a cake. Get a cherry cake. Cherry. To snack on at the table. How are you not giving me a red velvet cake or a lemon cake? This is what I don't understand, but okay. Wait, is the cake in the bedroom? Just be careful where you sit down and eat a snack. I don't want to see any ants anywhere. We can't see her because of uh, <laughs> Evie, but okay. One last thing to unlock now, guys, which is the bun bun. I think we can do it. I think we can definitely do it. So we're going to keep the shop the same way it is because this is perfect. This is actually so perfect. Oh, <gasps> and oh my gosh, look. Do I get to eat the cake? Oh. <gasps> I can finally actually eat! No way! Oh my gosh. Actually, after all this time, I can eat the cakes that I cook. No way. And here's my doggo. Hi, doggy. Hi, hi, Shroom. And then here's the little kitty cat, too. So, yeah, it's nice. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> yeah, literally, I've, I've owned this cake shop for like how many years now? And I've never eaten a cake, which is really sad. Uh, let's keep reading the diary. I like the diary. Inspector Mustache came back today. I can't believe my eyes. It's been so long since I've seen him. Of course, he had to come by and make some trouble. Well, it was kind of nice to have him visit too. I wonder why his ghost is haunting this place as well. It's kind of like, how much is to the story? If I had 102 games and 102 days in game? Wow. Sunday the March the 21st. That's recent. That is quite recent. The doggo is called Mushroom and the cat's called Pepper. Your southern accent is cute. It's the only one I can do. It's the only one I can do. Okay. 
Um, let's go ahead and do the outfit of the day, please. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one. Did I change that? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> oh, cute! We have blue hair a lot, don't we? I don't know what it is, but I seem to have blue hair quite a lot. Okay, let's go for the bun bun, guys. Let's go for the bun bun. It is bun bun hours. Bun bun hours. We got two cats. They're called Lolo Bug and Cripplays. Uh, those are the kitty cats today. Lolo Bug and Cripplays. And I'm gonna get some cakes in this oven. I'm gonna get some cakes in this here oven. <laughs> It does look like G. Although G's hair's changed a little bit now, right? But yeah, it definitely looks like G. Little G. And let's get you in here. Let's get a little wood into there. And let's get bacon. Let's get bacon. I don't think I've had a sim with blue hair. No, but the next generation is orange. And then after that, I think it is blue gen. Uh, Macy had blue hair, actually. Macy had blue hair. So we have... <laughs> we've had one. Uh, I can't think of any more, though, other than Macy, to be honest. And uh, let's get you cook a look in. On to table one. And let's get you cook a look in. How come I'm not streaming on Friday? We're actually um, going to like a gardens thing on Friday. Um, Ali's mum booked it. It's all like outside and um, it'd just be really nice to see them because obviously we've not been able to see them very much. But because it's an outside event, we can see them and you can bring dogs, which is the reason and, and the most hyped for all. Um, and th it's just something that um, she's been planning for like weeks and weeks and weeks, so. I thought um, it would be nice to do that instead. So yeah, we're swapping out what, uh, Friday stream for Thursday instead. So you still get the same number of streams. So yeah, after orange is pink. There is a blue gen though, right? Is, is blue gen the final one? It does sound nice, doesn't it? It's like a little walk around the gardens with the dogs. Should I add Evie? <gasps> oh, if you wanna, that would be amazing. No pressure though, no pressure. Oh, just look at me, just letting everything burn because I'm staring at chart. <laughs> You're excited for blue gen. Blue hair color is cute. It is a cute hair color. Anything else out here? Let's get you that. It's quite an easy day today. Have I spoke too soon and jinxed it? There we go. And better bing, better bum. There we go. Blue gen is last. True, but there's three generations after that. Does it, If anyone's seen or read or done the next three generations, do they lead on quite easily? Because I know the final gen is like an adopted gen. So um, does like the generation after that like have any... Is it anything to do with that or anything? Like does it lead on nicely? Is it nice and chronological? Because I like the older generations in this one kind of lead on quite well. So, like, the next one we have is going to be quite a rebellious sim because their growing up was quite chaotic. Which I think also, like, makes sense um, with, like, Lila's story. So, yeah, I think that works quite... That, that sounds good, if that's the case. Oh, and we've got a light change to royal purple. Yes, I will get on that in just a moment. We'll do it when we finish this day. He's singing a Fortnite song. That song lives in my head rent-free. Literally. Have you seen the clip of it in the club? Like, Lachlan put it on in the club. And they're like, all getting hyped in this club and then it's like, It's a number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down, get down. <laughs> what is the Thursday stream? Thursday is, I'm gonna switch it out after the stream. It's gonna be, um, It Takes Two with Lexi Lou. Lexi Lou, but not my Lexi. <laughs> Not Lexi Lubrish. Not Lexi Lubrish. Oh. There we go. Get down. That's my favorite bit. <laughs> I 
There we go. And I'm going to put some up for sale because I feel like we're a little bit behind on those ones. Go. On. Can dogs not play video games? No, I don't think they're great at it. <laughs> I wonder if there is any video games designed for dogs. Why has no one thought of that? That is my, that's, you know, you were wondering what I'd do if I retired from YouTube. That's what I would do. Dog video games, that is what I would do. <laughs> I can't believe no one's done it yet. Honestly, just nonsense behavior if you ask me. Oh, put that back. Okay. I would love to open like a... Um, Something I would like to do is like a doggy clothes store. <laughs> I think that would be really cute. I wanna do doggy clothes. But like all the things that currently annoy me about dog clothes, I would make sure weren't in the dog clothes I made. They'd be like smart dog clothes. With like little gaps for harnesses. And like, not like all buggy and stuff, you know? Why is your menu still there? <laughs> so do it. It's like I know. It's this kind of scary though. Not everyone is obsessed with their dogs as I am. <laughs> no, well, maybe they are, but they don't want to dress them up. Even I don't dress my dogs up that much, to be honest. Yeah, maybe this is a dead business idea. Cancel, cancel. Hoodies for cats. There we go. That's what I'll do. <laughs> There we go. I think we're gonna have to qu do quite a few days in order to get this um, this next update, which is kind of annoying. But I do think we do we do because it's five hundred and forty, so that's like at least three days work. So I will work my little butt off. But all the cats have been adopted, which is great because that helps with profits. Where my milk went. Even though I don't dress up my dogs that much. I mean, I definitely still dress up my dogs. Let's not even lie to ourselves here. But like, I could do it more, you know? I'm not really doing it to my full potential. That's what I like. The potential dog dressing up quantity and output could definitely be higher. Maybe I'll just set up a dog Instagram and like dress them up as bees and stuff. Have you made it a full lemon cake day yet? No, I haven't because I find going into the garden annoying. <laughs> Basically, no, because I'm lazy. That is the reason why. Here we go. What is it, 480? Maybe it's not as much as I thought. I thought it was 500 for some reason. Yeah, I thought it was 500. See if I can get one more in. Hey Claire, you cute. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. And now I just need to get these out onto the shop floor. So cook nice and quickly, please. Beekeeping, bee beekeeping is a skill for Lila. She doesn't have a bees anymore. The bees are with Molly. Um, Lila got to keep the dog and Molly got to keep the bees and the grubs. Honestly. I feel like Molly got a bit of a raw deal. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think I would keep the dog over the grubs, you know? Yeah, is bee I don't think beekeeping is a skill in The Sims, is it? I don't think it is. 146, though. Not bad again. Well, F, thank you for the bits. Hope everything is going well. Just passing by. Currently doing my last of my work projects. So I can send everything tomorrow to my teachers. It will be tedious since I've literally got to upload so many gig of work. Meanwhile, I have no upload. <gasps> Probably need to buy data. No. So I was wondering, have you ever played d and I'm quite interested because I love storytelling, but I'm a bit shy when it comes to role play. Moth. Um, um, thank you so much for the bits, my love. I haven't played D&D, but I played the Lego D&D, um... Mm -hmm. It's like a D&D inspired Lego game on my second channel. I'm just gonna close this window because it's getting a bit cold. Um, and I actually really enjoyed that. I liked adding to the story and stuff. So yeah, I've not played D&D though. I've not played D&D. Okay, so doo -doo -doo -doo, how much is it? Oh, it's 480. It's not as much as I thought. Okay, two more days and we can get it. Two. More 
Days. Should I add lemon cake in there? I want to bake lemon cake once. So I'm going to add lemon cake in there and then it's only 8%. Yeah. I'm just going to do red cake and lemon cake day. Red velvet and lemon cake day. That's what we'll do instead. Um, K Jump, thank you so much for the bits, my love. Aunt Maka, thank you so much for being here for seven months. Love your videos so much. Well, thank you. And thank you for the seven months. Hope you've had a good time on here too. There we go. It's a beanie and we're going to do royal purple for the lights. So let me go ahead and do that now. So it's kind of like a deep purple, right? Let me make it so you guys can see it better. So there we go. Purple. We'll go a bit deeper. And on the bean one, we'll do the same. There we go. <laughs> Look at Evie in a thing. <laughs> Look at her just sleeping through the party. Just like, ah, oh, yes, this is normal. <laughs> This is how I sleep through my raves. There we go. Purple lights. <laughs> and a posture check as well. Thank you. There we go. It, Bean does deserve her own light. Completely agree. Completely agree. Okay. Let's head um, back to our bedroom. Start a new day. And we will get a new look in just a moment. Let's also read another diary entry. April 24th. This was like last week <laughs> two weeks ago maybe finally i figured out how to open the bedroom staircase again claire will finally have somewhere to rest after all the hard work they've done they definitely deserve it oh so that's the most recent entry i wonder if this will keep getting added to that's cute it was a beanie rave <laughs> um <sighs> sorry i've got a bit of a dry throat um but yeah, she was the one that got us up here. What were we doing before? We were just like sleeping on a bench outside. Like, I don't know. But let's get some numbers in the chat and we will do a little rig out. Little rig out. The outfit reminds you of pasta. You guys rated pasta last as well. Ooh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, one, two, three. One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. What? Oh, wait, am I in the right thing? Did I do that one? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, there we go. Claire, you should do one of these. Oh, like the shock face. Okay, we, we'll add a shock face emoji. Well, pancake head. Pancake head today. There we go. Pancake head. Um, hi, kitty cat. The cat, the cat I can't stroke anymore because he keeps being over there. But I can stroke a um, little mushroom. And it's another day. Let's build, let's make our first ever lemon cake, shall we? Let me get some of these already. And I think having one where I do need fruit and one where I don't is definitely the hux. That is the hux. That is how to do things. There we go. Just give these a little brushing. Don't want to be all dirty, do we? Pop this in here and get one more plus. And one more plus. Come on. There we go. So we'll pop that onto there. And lemon cake. So it's the same ingredients. Milk, sugar, flour, and a lemon. So we got our first ever lemon cake on the go. I'm going to open the shop. And yeah, let's see what people order. I feel like baking a lemon cake in lemon cake is a pretty huge deal. It's a pretty huge deal. Um... Maka, I got your seven months. Thank you so, so much. And Abigail Renee, thank you so much for subscribing. Please, can we welcome Abigail to the Peaches, please? Thank you so, so much for subscribing, Abigail, with your Amazon Prime. Thank you for linking the two. Appreciate you. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, is that what I think it is? Yes, it smells just like my lemon cake recipe. I'm going to make it so you guys can see her because we are totally in the way here, so... We'll just skedaddle for uh, one sec. Uh, I'll get rid of me as well. I just want you guys to be able to see her little face as we unlock the lemon cake. Because it's, you know, it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, wait, that's not me. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Seriously, where am I? Am I this one? There we go. Okay. Should I get rid of this too? 
There we go. Okay, so you can see a little face. It smells just like my lemon cake recipe. Ah, <gasps> uh, I can tell you baked it perfectly. Just like I used to in the old days. I wonder what she says there if you bake it wrong. Pro streamer, I know, right? Thank you for helping me run my bakery, Claire. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. Well, I guess you can leave the bakery now. <gasps> but you don't have to go yet if you want to stay for a little while longer. I'll always be here to run the bakery with you, Claire. <gasps> um, I think she said something else, but I actually clicked too fast, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, guys. We've baked a lemon cake, which basically means we've beaten the game as it stood before the bedroom update. However, the bedroom update has kind of changed things because now you can unlock the whole bedroom. So we will be trying to do that as well. I can't handle Claire with no webcam. Is it really weird? Just hearing my voice, like <coughs> my really annoying voice. Okay, there we go. So into table number two. There you go, ma'am. And if everyone can just not order lemon cake, that would help me out so much. Thank you. Good night. God bless. Let's pop you in. You into there, and you into there, and keep doing these. There we go. Um, I think she's starting to be nicer to me. If I go outside, is she still like, oh yeah, she's like, <laughs> so that's not great. Uh, I thought she was being nicer to me. Turns out I was just hearing what I wanted to hear. Cause she still hates me. There we go. Pop you into there. You are going onto here. We've got another lemon cake. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I've got all lemon cakes. And I'm just stood here with a cake in my hand like, Hello. And nobody wants anything but lemon. And nope, turns out they don't. Okay, I'll put that there. And I might as well grab another lemon while I'm here. There we go. <gasps> Somebody finally ordered something else, but we should get some lemon cakes on the go, so. Because everyone's ordering this lemon cake. Everyone is desperate for the lemon cake. Any of you guys? There we go. Make another. This, this is what Ali would order. Ali loves lemon cake. It's Tazia! Tazia La Spatula, hello! How are you, my love? How are things going? Tell me, what were you, um... Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> I might as well just unlock them now. I'm never gonna bake them because I won't, like, torture my my people living here, uh, who are just ordering nice food, you know? Uh, but we can order the, like, um, trashy carrot things now. Um, Taz, what were you ukulele on your stream, my love? What were you ukulele ukulele in? So if you were watching my stream yesterday, I I played a ukulele in the bits where I get copyrighted sound. Um, it sounded like a good idea in my head, but then everything in Life is Strange 2 is such, and ukulele is happy. So it actually wasn't the genius idea I thought it was. Um... <laughs> But maybe that makes it even better, I don't know. But yeah, at the exact same time I whipped out my ukulele, uh, Tazia La Spatula whipped out a ukulele as well. How weird is that? Like, at the exact same time, and we didn't even plan it. I just whipped it out randomly, and then five minutes later someone was like, oh my gosh, Claire has a ukulele out too. How weird is that? I kind of love that we did that though. We're so in sync, wow. Wow. So amazing, so in sync. So twin. It's so weird, I know. I've, I, it's the first time I've ever whipped out a ukulele on stream ever. Like, it literally arrived in the post that morning. I didn't even have a ukulele. No, it actually arrived a couple mornings ago. But I, I unpackaged it that morning. So, like, how weird is that? We should start a ukulele band. In sync and pregnant in Stardew at the same time. Oh my gosh, you're actually so right. <laughs> what do we like? What do we like? <laughs> your baby, your baby is gonna come soon. I got secondhand embarrassment from Ali trying to play it. Oh my gosh, same. I think he thought you could play it like a like a piano where you like press down on the keys and it would still make a noise. And I'm like, no, that's not how. No. Oh man, he tried to play the ukulele like a piano. That's basically what happened. That's why it all went a bit Pete Tong. But yeah. I also, I feel that secondhand cringe, because I felt it too. There we go, and let me grab this. That's why I love him though, little cringy boy. Little cringy boy. 
Ali is too ironic for us. Yeah, we were just weren't on his level. That was the problem. He was joking in a higher plane, you know? There we go. And let me grab some more. Customer's about to leave. What was about? Oh, no. Oh, they gave him the coffee. They gave him the coffee. It's fine. I'm going to pop one of these on here. And can I grab one more? Come on, lemon. Grow faster. And let's get... Everyone's ordering these. So I'm just going to get some of these on the go. And then let's get some of these out. ASAPs before they all leave. One for you. Why is my cake so lopsided? Who made that a thing? And one for table two. There we go. Everyone's coming in to buy stuff and there's like nothing to buy. Which is stress. Table four. I'm trying to get to you, babes. I'm trying. Okay, table four, table four. Zoom. There you go. There's nothing to buy. Hate that. There we go. And now we need lots of lemon cake. Lots and lots of lemon cake. Uh, there is one. Perfect. And then another. I need to get some lemons. We bully Ali on this channel. I feel like that's part of being in a relationship. Like, you've just got to bully your partner. In, like, a love way. Love love bullies. Like, love bullies. If you're not bullying your partner, do you really love them? And when I say bully, I mean, like, soft, gentle. Teasers. It's just the way of it. Especially with my... When you're in a relationship with me, that's just what happens. You get bullied a bit. <laughs> it's how I show affection, okay? <laughs> Um, let's get you out and let's bake some more of these. <laughs> you bully your partners. You heard it here first. Oh my gosh, imagine. God, if, that, if it ever came out that I actually did though. And then on the news, they use this clip. And they're like, ah, oh, yes, well, we knew because here she was on her Twitch stream. Openly admitting, if not boasting, about her evil nature. In the BBC voice as well. There we go. <laughs> One for you. I'm gonna, I don't wanna waste these ingredients, so I'm just gonna get these cook a looking. Get you onto here. Have you had your coffee table too? Have you had your coffee? No, you've not even had your coffee yet. There you go. On the house. And then you may have this. There you go. And then can I get one of these in before the end of the day? I don't think I can, but I will try. And a light change to, uh, to baby blue. I almost said to BBC. A light change to baby blue. Because of my BBC accent. Okay, let's get baby blue lights. So it's like a powder blue, right? Like a little soft, gentle blue. Like here. There we go. And for Evie as well. That's just like a darker version. Whole thing getting raved on ahead. Um, okay. Oh, the resolver with the five. One, two, three, four, five gifted subs. If you were gifted by the resolver, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Welcome, new peaches. I missed an order. Oh, I did. I didn't realize I'd done that. Um, if you were gifted by the resolver, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Resolver, thank you so, so much for gifting. We are on 59 out of our 100 peachy target of the day as well. And um, we got a posture check. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Um, I still don't think I can afford it. Yeah, one more day. One more day, gang along. And we've done the lemon cake, so we've got that chivo. So I'm going to take it off because honestly, it's stress. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me sit down and eat my little cake. Mm -mm -mm. You extended to July. Thank you so much, Georgia. Mm -mm. And we can also start reading some secret notes. Let's do that one. Whoa, I got Mabel a carrot today and she turned orange. I wonder if there's anything else I can feed her. Hold the phone. You can feed the cow? What? Okay, we're trying that today. 
Kitty is here! Strokes for the babies. Strokes for the babies. Love you guys. Corgi's doing a little schlep. So mushroom here. Mushroom. And pepper. Cute babies. An outfit. What should we wear? Cancel the carrot recipes. <laughs> I'm going to feed it everything. I didn't know you could do that. I've literally never tried that before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you can't see the socks. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look at me. A little cozy chef today. Cozy vibes. Love that for me. Okay, let's go immediately feed the cow. Like, what? Let's clean the poor cow first. Jeez. Jeez. And let's get it a carrot. Okay, you guys, yeah, you guys can see the cow. <gasps> what? Is that new? Was that always in the game? Oh my gosh, look. The cow is like, um... Sorry, I'm just gonna shrink Labine down a little bit. I'm trying. There we go. Um, the cow is orange now. What? That's so cute. I love it. Okay, Beanie. Stay inside your little box, though. Oh, Bean, what are you doing? Bean. St Bean, stay inside your box. Bean, where you off? There we go. There you go. She's the baby. She's the baby. Um, do I only do one a day? Like, what happens if I give it an apple? Oh, can it only eat one per day? Ah. Okay, this is a new thing we're going to be doing every day then. So, I love... Oh, Jake, Jake, David, uh, TG. Jake, Jake, David, TG. Thank you so much for the raid. The queens have arrived. I love it. Hello! Please can we get some love in the chat for Jake and all the readers? Welcome on in! Jake David BGT. There we go. My brain wasn't registering the B next to the D and I was getting real confused. Welcome queens! Welcome Jake! Thank you so so much for reading. What have you guys been playing? You guys say I can feed the chickens by the way so I'm gonna try that. No, it's only the cow. Oh. <laughs> have you guys had a nice stream? We've got some links out there to Jake. Jake, thank you so, so much for raiding. We're playing some lemon cake. We've actually beat the game because we've, um, oh, we've got three cats. The cats are called Lucy, Sparkle, and Skull. Um, so yeah, we've beat the game because we have actually made a lemon cake and um, fed it. Well, the, we didn't feed it to the ghost, but she saw us feed it. She saw us make it and she was like, wow, you made me a lemon cake. I'm so grateful. Um, however, there's a new bedroom update, um, so we've got most of the, uh, all of the updates actually, apart from one, which is gonna give us a bun bun. So right now, we are saving for the bun bun, and I'm really excited to see what bun bun looks like, so, and we will name bun bun. So we've already got a dog, the dog is called Mushroom, and we've got a cat as well, the cat is called Pepper, so we are just waiting for bun bun. Um, all of them apparently gonna live in harmony, which feels like a pipe dream to me, but okay. Jake, thank you for the bids! Claire! Love you not to come over and spread the love to the peaches. We're building a fairy core island in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, yes. I love the sound of that. That sounds incredible. Hope you guys have had lots of fun. And thank you so much for again for the raid. Okay, if we get 150 today, we'll get enough. I don't usually make 150 a day. I usually make 147. Um, yeah, Fairy Court Island sounds absolutely adorable. I completely agree. Oh, so many of you guys talking about Animal Crossing. You're giving me a little Animal Crossing bug. But I want to play that new island game with... Like, that comes out fairly soon, right? But it's Mass Effect first, gang along. Mass Effect first. Don't forget that. And we need to decide who we romance on Mass Effect. It's going to be really hard to decide. Because I love everyone in that game. If you've played Mass Effect, who did you romance? Let me know in the chat right now. If you've not played it, you're going to be confused by that question. <laughs> but yeah, I want to hear it. And Jenny Duvall, thank you so much for being here for seven months with your Amazon Prime. Hope you've had a really nice seven months. Sorry, my, my voice is doing like weird microphone thing. 
Bro, it sounds like it comes from like a microphone in my throat. It's really weird. Yay, you're a cat. You are sparkles. Enjoy your newfound. You have ascended to cat form. Enjoy. So true. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely one of my more niche love games. It's not. Mass Effect's like a huge game. But I don't know what my audience's crossover with Mass Effect is like. Probably not much. Probably not much. There we go. <laughs> Which is a shame. I hope you guys are still going to enjoy it though. Um, why is my wife... Where is she? She's there. Why is she not bringing the cakes out? She's doing my head. Hello, wifey. Come on. I love what Mass Effect. I watched your playthrough. So that was Mass Effect Andromeda. You've never seen me play Mass Effect, but I have played through the whole game several times. So I don't think I will go like the completionist route. Ooh, hype train. Nice. Let me get my little uh, hype train overlay on. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll go full completion. We'll just do like story and fulfillments. Uh -oh. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Um, and yeah. Kelly Dunn, thank you so much for being for six months with your prime. Um, have you had a good six months? Have you played a game called Dungeon Quest Builder 2.2? No, I've not. Is it fun? Is it like a dungeon, um, dungeon keeper? I used to play that when I was younger. Uh, come CC, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four. 500 bits, a big heart to you. Thank you so, so much. What is Mass Effect about? Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to wait and play it like to, to like I start streaming it because it's hard to describe because it's so good. There's so much to it and it's, it's an RPG shooter. That's basically what the game is, but it's got a really good story. It's got really good characters. There's like a bunch of different like alien races and um, they've all got like their own intricate story. Oh, it's just so good. So good. And I personally enjoy the original trilogy much more than Andromeda. I don't really get on with Andromeda, but I love the original trilogy. You're going to love it, guys. Don't stress. You're going to love it. Coral Island. That is the name of the game I was trying to think of. Every time I think about playing Stardew, uh, not Stardew, um... Animal Crossing, I'm like, I should just wait and play Coral Island. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Tally or Miranda? I, Tally, I definitely see. Miranda, I um, actually really like Jack. And Jack and Miranda don't like each other, so I always didn't like Miranda, because um, I like Jack. But I don't think you can romance Jack as Femme Chef, which is really annoying, because I really wanted to romance Jack. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's why I didn't like Miranda. <laughs> you ordered the Coral Island Alpha. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's pop you in here. Let's get you out there. A little kitty cat's been adopted. You guys will understand why we want to romance Jack when you see her. She's like got, um, in the first game, she's got like a shaved head and loads of tattoos and she's really pretty and like really badass and we, we, we shrimp really hard for Jack. <laughs> we just do. We can't help ourselves. But you can't romance her. You could do if you play as, um, male shepherd, but I'm not going to do that. Don't want to do that. Wants to be femme shep. I'm actually so hyped for next week now. I think it's the whole trilogy remastered as well. <gasps> I didn't realize it was coming so soon. I might just stream Mass Effect every day next week. That's how much I love Mass Effect. <laughs> it's gonna be all on me not streaming it every day. I just wanna play it. And all these people can go scratch because I make my, most of my money on lunch so they can just wait for their orders. It's fine. I'm sure they won't mind too much. Lots of money. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, and there's still loads of people coming in. Sorry, I'm just gonna go into concentration mode for a sec. I'm getting much better at like, 
the little hotkeys and moving around quickly, I think. Although I probably have just jinxed myself. But yeah, I, f I f oh my gosh, yeah, I did. Uh, I feel like I've got faster. Hopefully half. Ooh. An oven is out of firewood, oven. Oh! oh why are you doing this to me? There we go. What about Sean and Daniel? Oh my gosh, yeah. Even if I get really obsessed with Mass Effect, we'll still play Life is Strange, actually. But you don't understand, Mass Effect is my favorite. Mass Effect and Skyrim are like my favorite trilogies by like a country mile. Like I prefer them to all of the games. Like so much so. <laughs> um, so yeah, we will still play Life is Strange. I can't forget about um, little Daniel and Sean. Of course, of course, of course, you guys are right. I can't do that to them. They're too cute. Come on, let's get you out. Okay, I think we might have enough for Bun Bun, but we shall see. There we go. <gasps> oh, it's the final recipe. I've unlocked all the recipes now. That's every single recipe unlocked. Every single one. We got him. We got him all. And let me grab this, pop you here, and then you're the final thing of the day. Well done, congratulations. To table three. There we go. And thank you for everyone that supported the hype train. Let me catch up on your messages in the chat. Come, thank you for your 500 bit donation for the um, hype train. And uh, Jake, thank you so much for your um, bits as well. All the love, all the hype, and love to the Peach Squad. Thank you so, so much, Jake. Woo -woo. And Nika's, uh, Nika, Nika, Nika J, Mom, Sean, Gamer. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for your bits to fuel the hype train too. Woo -woo. How long have I been streaming for? Um, like two hours, 40 minutes. Oh, we got Buggos as well. Yes. Okay, we got 18 last time. Like... Uh, oh, oh, he said loads of nice stuff there and I just completely ignored him. Oops. Uh, let's see if I can try and beat 18. I don't think it's possible. I think 18 is the max because I got really lucky with like double bugs. But if I can try and get more, then I will try. Nope, this way. Nice. And then back in here. Nice. Oh. Nice. And in here. Oh, look at that fast little speedy yellow one. We got it though, didn't we? We sure did. Get you. And in here. You. Nice. And then out here. <gasps> oh! Oh, double, double. It's okay. We made it back. We made it back. Ooh, 17. 17 is not bad. And 188. We can get it. We can do the whole thing. We can literally do the whole thing. You got 19 ones, Ellie. Oh my gosh, very jealous. Well done. Well done. Okay. We've done it. We've upgraded fully. Evie's down here now. Every single tree. Every single tree we've done. Okay. Purchase. Done. The bakery will look awesome. Have we beat the game again? We've just beat the game again, haven't we? <gasps> the bun bun just runs around with the car. Are you <laughs> Are you kidding me? Th this car is looking at me like the minute you go down to that bakery, say goodbye to your bun bun. I hope you're ready to buy one every day. Like <laughs> It's just there. In the <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. This is so foolish. But completed it, mate. Yeah, we completed it, mate. We did it. We did the whole thing. Wow. Okay. When you beat a game twice. We haven't unlocked all of these, to be fair. Like, I always have to remember to bring some eggs back to the chickens. <gasps> They'll warm them up and hatch a tiny chick! Okay, we gotta try that. We have got to try that. Um, And we need to name the Bun Bun. So, what shall we name the Bun Bun gangs? Uh, bun Bun name. Should we just call it straight up Bun Bun? Should we call it Carrot? Should we call it granola? Because <laughs> it has carrot in it, but we never wanted to unlock it. 
Um, what else are you guys saying? Let's have a look. Any other names? Chocolate? Oh, muffin. Ooh, muffin's a good one. Okay, they're all food-based, apart from Bun Bun, but it's kind of food-based. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking for the poll, and let's get some numbers in the chat so we can do a little wardrobe while the poll's going on. Broccoli, cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon would have been a good idea. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. We still got some good ideas in there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Um, one, two. And one, two, three, four, five. Wait, was that five? I'm just gonna do this one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay. Sometimes, like, I, I say seven and I count to seven, but I only click, like, six times. That is a cute outfit. I am enjoying how we look today very, very much. Very, very much. Very cute. There they get. And let's see what you guys want to name Bun Bun. We're calling the Bun 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 Bun. Oh, it's like, bu it's like buns. So that's good. Okay, so we have got um, Shroom, who apparently I can't stroke because Shroom's sleeping. Then we've got Pepper. And then we've got Bun Bun. Hey, Bun Bun. Oh wow, look at all the hearts everywhere! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Free little pets, guys! Look, the black cat has little stripes on its back. And it's got socks on. Bun Bun! Little baby. And I love the plants. Yay! Okay, I wanna try the chick thing, and I wanna try the cow thing. So we're gonna do those. So, the cow is still orange from yesterday. But should I, can I give it a grape? <gasps> oh, it's a little brown cow. It's like a little black cow. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Evie does, is still missing a sock. Yeah, Evie's never had a sock. Everyone's puppies be watching. That is very cute. How now brown cow. And then let's get a chick, an uh, egg, sorry. And bring it to the chickens. Oh. <gasps> A little chick! A little tiny chick! Let me show you guys. Let me just move this for a hot sec. Um, can you guys see that? A little chickly boo! A little baby! These are like all the little secret like Easter eggs and hugs, aren't they? I didn't know these. I want to find some more of them. Let's find some more. Let's find some more. I need to keep unlocking those little tips and stuff to get them. And we'll just keep earning loads of monies in the daytime for future updates. Because when I started this update, I had like a thousand pounds. So I sort of feel like that is the way to do with this game. Because there's probably going to be another update. So we kind of want money for it, don't we? So let's get a little bit more cash. My outfit's matching the bun bun. Oh my gosh, I dressed as a bun bun to celebrate bun bun. Is that offensive to bun buns or do they kind of appreciate the effort? Who knows? Who knows? We've also got two kitty cats today. They are called Gabby and Sassy. Gabby and Sassy, the kitty cats. I am just going to get through my days quite quickly because um, it's all about the hacks now, really. So let's keep grand. You can have three chicks? Seriously? Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's try that. <laughs> Another little chick. Oh, he's here. Oh my gosh, let's get another. My customers are now like, why don't she serve us anymore? Oh, and one here! Oh my gosh, I love that. Can I only do the cow one color a day though? Or can I do it more than one color a day? Because then we can get through the colors a bit quicker, can't we? There was a mini workout redeemed! Okay, nice, we'll do it at the end of this day. Remind me and we'll do a mini workout when we finish this day. Thank you. Thank you for getting me working out. I started Epic this morning. I meant to tweet that and I totally forgot. This morning I started the Epic program. I'd already been doing Epic Beginners, but I started Full Epic by Caroline Gavin. And it's tough. It's really tough, but it's really good. I was sweating so much. I don't usually sweat that much when I work out. I'm just not like a very 
sweaty worker router for some reason. Um, but yeah, I was really sweating. It's good. It's a very good workout. A very, very good workout. So I would recommend that. Oh, what am I doing here? There we go. So yeah, if anybody else wants to start Epic with me, I started today so we can do it at the same time. It's really hard, but it's really fun. It's like a worker router. Did I just... <laughs> you know what I mean. It kind of works, right? A worker router. Exerciser. Human. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. You're fasting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't do it if you're fasting. Make sure... Um, maybe start it when you finish fasting. Just to make sure you don't get dizzy or anything. And there we go. What time do I get up at? Our alarm goes off at 8.15. Um, but I usually just like... Ali will be like checking emails on his phone. And I, I'm trying to awaken from my coma. Because uh, I don't... I don't wake up well. <laughs> I just don't really wake up very well. It takes me quite a long time to get like awoken. Um, but I'm usually down... I'm usually working out by like half nine. Is usually when I start working out. And I try and work out every morning. And then right now we're playing badminton about three times a week as well. Which is really good. Oh, I thought I might be able to get that, but I couldn't. So yeah, we're being quite active at the moment. Claire's learning Korean and we're trying to learn her language. Oh no! I do have some strange languageisms. <laughs> For sure. You're all learning like fun Irish banter slang though, which is uh, pretty cool. Oh, it's a lunchtime rush, great. I'm really liking the way I look with the bun bun ears. I'm liking the bun bun ears a lot. My only goal in life was to make Claire laugh and I won. <laughs> Good job. Oh my gosh, it's mad out there and I'm too busy focusing on the Egypt sat down. I need to get some product out. Out with you. Yeah, because the cake takes a little while to cook, but I still think the payoff's worth it. So let's get some of these out. Is person on table three actually going to leave or do they just need a coffee? They're actually going to leave, aren't they? Oof! Just in the snickle of time. If you think I speak nonsense, you Ali is worse. So once we were in, like, we were shopping. Ali sometimes speaks quite loudly, especially if he's been recording. He just, like, is very good at projecting his voice. So he'll, like, project his voice a bit too much. And he meant to say, uh, we were shopping, but he was really hungry. And he meant to say, I'm, like, famished. I think that's what he meant to say. So he's meant to be like, I'm famished. But instead, in the middle of a shopping center, like, in the middle of, like, a supermarket with loads of people around him really loudly, he went, I'm ravishing. And I was just staring at him, like, why have you just done that? And he's like, what do you mean? And it's like, I'm ravishing. And I'm like, Ali, what do you think that word means? And I, he thought he meant he was hungry. And I'm like, no, you've just basically said that you're really hot to everyone. And he was so embarrassed. I was crying. I was crying laughing. He has so many of these little moments. Annoyingly, because I correct him when he gets words wrong. He doesn't um, do it as much. I should have just never corrected him and I could have just laughed so much. But because I corrected him, I, he doesn't do it as much now, which is sad. <laughs> oh, Ali. You little spoon. <laughs> it's the self-confidence. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm ravishing. Oh. That was, that was the good old, good old Ali days. Back before the bun bun. I love the bun bun. The bun bun is my favorite thing that Ali has at the moment. I love the little bun bun. Oh, not this again. Okay, in there. You in here. He is a little spoon. He's a little spoonhead. 
And I just want to keep getting stuff for sale. I'm kind of bored of everyone sat down. <laughs> and the window displays are empty. I know they are. I'm trying my hardest. He's a little spoon. He is a little spoon. He's a little spoon. Oh my gosh, the window displays are completely empty. Yeah, in, in real life he is 6'3", so he would tower over you if you bully him, but I'm a lot shorter than him and I still bully him. It's fine. He's still quite baby, so it's good for bullying, because he's baby. <laughs> Ali just giving himself a little self-love. That's all it was, yeah. He was just feeling... He, he caught his reflection in the supermarket mirror and he's like, I, be, I do be looking spicy today, if I do say so myself. And, you know, I can't argue with that. I cannot argue with that. <laughs> yeah, he has got good skin, so yeah, he's got beautiful skin. He probably just felt his cheek and he's like, you know what, I'm ravishing. Meanwhile, there's me that, like, the skin is a constant battle, just like, mm-hmm. Is that the case, Ali? Wow. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I'm ravishing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Thanks, wifey. Thanks, wifey. Um, Ladybug, thank you so much for the one, two, three hundred bits. Claire, speaking of exercise, you inspired me to get back into yoga. I now do it two times a week. My sims are still way better at than I am, but I'm working on it. That's amazing, Ladybug. I love hearing that. And also, Sims T, thank you so much for three months. Hey, Claire, I love you and this community. Yay! And um, Cara, my puppy, is watching so yellow for her first dress. Yep, let's go for some yellow lighties. Yellow. And... Hello. There we go. Oh, the bean isn't even... Oh, wait, she's back here. There we go. She loves shuffling around, doesn't she? Little shuffle head. There we go. I don't know why she's cut off a bit on here. How long has she been doing that for? How long have you been at that, Evie Beavy? Evie Beavy? Let me try and find the right layer. You know what I'm like. There we go. Boop. There we go. Uh, so there we go. Orange lights. We've also got a mini workout, so... Let's get our weights and let's do a mini workout. If you've got any weights and you want to join me, we're going to be doing 25 punches like this. Three, two, one, go. Hana, tol, se, ne, taso, yoso, ilgo, yodl, aho, yol, yol hana, yol tol, leo set, yol net, yol taso, yol yoso, yol ilgo, yol yodl, yol aho, sumal, sumal han, sumal se, sumal wei. Someone told. Someone say. Someone let. Someone toss out. Why is it twos? I always missed out 22. I don't understand. I don't understand. And well, F, thank you so much for the bits. Would you ever do a workout stream? I've been trying to start working out, but the motivation isn't there since I got no one to work out with. And what Mass Effect um, do you play? I've heard that the last one isn't that good. I they updated their books and so on. It's been a while. I started with two, and then I played Mass Effect one, and then I played two again, and then I played three. And then with Ali, I did Mass Effect 1 again, and I we got midway through 2 again. Um, I found 2 the most fun the first time around, but then I actually think 1 might have been better when I played it again. I played the trilogy, like, twice. Um, I think 1 is probably the best. 2 is really good. 3 has some issues, but it's still, compared to most games, it's still really good. That's how I would kind of present them. A lot of people moan about Mass Effect 3, but compared to a lot of games, it's still really good. That is a tidy day of profits, by the way. Tidy day of profits. Uh, profits? Profits. Yeah, profits. When I said that then, in my head, I said it in with a PH. Did anyone else hear that? I said like Egyptian prophet. 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 Yeah, can you hear the difference? <laughs> Am I losing my mind right now? Posture check, thank you. Okay, daily profit, Egyptian profit. I can hear the difference. You heard profit too, thank you. When I get out of my car, if I've left my phone plugged in, it says your mobile phone is still in the vehicle. And I know it's been written in um, ye or e uh, apostrophe R-E, like you are, because it doesn't say your mobile phone, it says 
your mobile phone. I'm like, you're saying the wrong y'all. I can hear it. And it drives me wild. It drives me so... It, I'm just, it makes me so angry. I really don't like it. Um, we're gonna do another day, I think. Final day, final day. Um, and I can tell it's like, your mobile phone. I'm like, ah! what are you even saying that for? Okay, another secret note. The cat playing in the bakery looked a bit thirsty, so I made sure to give it a bowl of milk. Oh my gosh, I love these hucks. I love these hucks. This is, yes. <gasps> Look a little bun bun on his window to escape the cat. And the cat's just staring at the bunny. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Um, as to a workout stream, I don't know if I would be the best person to do a workout stream because I don't know if I've got great posture. Um, like. I don't know if I've got good form. That's what I meant to say. Um, I don't know if I would like say it right. What, what, I'm, my brain, I've got fully streamer brain. I tweeted Ali and asked if he's ravishing. <laughs> and what do, what do you mean I have a little streamer moment? What's a little streamer moment? <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a weird moment. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um... Yeah, I don't know. And also, I, I just feel a bit self-conscious doing a workout stream. Maybe one day. But I'm just not really there yet. I have the your annoyance with French people who say fries instead of Belgian fries. <laughs> Ali wanted to say he was a radish. <laughs> okay, let's do another little outfit. And then I will try the cat thing. And I will try the moo cow thing. And we'll do our final day, okay? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 2. And 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1. And 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 6 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <gasps> Cute! It's kind of a bit of a mishmash outfit today, but I'm here for it. It's colorful, it's pretty. I've just realized I usually give you guys um, a little filter for because this game's a little bit dark, but I forgot to put it on today, so sorry about that. Let me... Oh, maybe I don't. Hmm. No, I do. I'm sure I do. I'm sure of it. Does this... Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that, guys. That looks so much nicer now! So much nicer. Otherwise, it's just a bit of a dark game. Okay, goodbye, Ben Ben. Goodbye, um, Shroom. Goodbye, Pepper. Let's start another day of grandin. And okay, let's try the milk thing. So I get a milch and I bring it to the cats. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! He does a little jinky of it. <gasps> we got two cats. They're called um, Neon Elf and Anita Rose. There we go. Uh, babies, you prefer it without? Is it too bright now? Hmm. Which you guys prefer? I think that's nicer, personally. But I don't know. I think the webcam is slightly outside the border. Oh my gosh, it is. Thank you for that. How annoying to watch. Sorry, I've subjected your eyes to such a thing. There you go. It's good either. Okay. No, it's fine. I just find this game is a little bit dark and it, it annoys me. <laughs> okay, so we've given the cow a carrot. We've given it a grape. What happens with the blueberry? Wait, let me wash it first. Can't even see you, can I? There you go. Okay, here you go. <gasps> it's a little soft grey cow. Oh my gosh, pastel cow. It's a pastel cow. Little pastel baby. Oh, I love that. That is a whole look. That is a loot. The cow is serving. Ooh, two cats. We named them, didn't we? The cat do be serving a whole look. Love that. I don't know why, but whenever I see the word look, I want to do like the W look version. I just like it more. <laughs> uh, does Sims run better through Origin or Steam? You know what? I don't know. I run it through Origin. But if I was ever suggesting anyone to start their Sims collection, I would suggest Steam. Because um, it does more offers, I think. At least I think it does. That's the impression I always get. I always feel like stuff's discounted on Steam. But stuff never gets discounted on Origin, you know? 
So that would be my shop. Um, but I guess you, you can start it wherever. The cow is better looking than me. Oh my gosh, me too, babes. That, I mean, that is a fierce looking cow. No, it's not. It's a soft baby looking cow right now. Love how the cow looks at the moment. Very cute. And we've got an order for table one and table four. So let's get on that. Table one. And... Origin updates too much. Yeah, what annoys me is sometimes when Origin has done an update, it's pushed it while I've been playing a game. And it causes the game to crash, which I don't like. Sometimes as well when Origin goes offline, I find it can crush, crash the game too. I don't see why it has to be online for the game to play. Like, it's kind of... I don't like that, you know? So, yeah, I feel you on that. But I don't actually know a fierce, soft-looking cow. I don't know anyone that plays Steam through... Um, play Sims through Steam. So I don't know the experience. Yeah. I've never asked anyone. Oh, why am I just holding a cake? Ooh! You rage deleted the Sims. Very understandable. I did that on Final Fantasy 13. It lost like um, four hours of gameplay. And I literally just put the disc, took the disc out, walked immediately into Harrogate Town Center and handed the game in. I got like seven pounds back from it and I'd like bought it for like 40 pounds the day before. And I was just like, I don't care. This game cannot be in my life anymore. It has betrayed me and I don't want its existence in this house. <sighs> What made you rage delete it? Oh, it ran really slowly. Yeah, it's It's actually like people when you say like I need a really good PC for sims They're like well show you do hashtag girl gamers hashtag not real gamers hashtag hashtags um, However, they're totally wrong sims actually does require a good PC to run Particularly if you want to play a modded version of sims and if you're gonna start installing script mods and if you're going to start installing a bunch of like high poly polygon hair and textures on clothes, then yeah, you do. Unfortunately, you do need a good a good system. Um, oh, oh, hello. Fine. All of you guys decide to run out of firewood at the same time. Seems kind of sus, but whatever. There we go. Oh, don't stay attached to it. Ooh! The lunchtime rush and I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. There we go. I just want to find out what her final tip is. Once I've got the final tip, we've got them all. So I, I really want to know what it is. Oh my gosh, it's mental out there. I'll leave that to little waifaroo. I don't want to be near that mess. Far too many people. Claire, which uh, one of the Sims games do I like the most? I actually think the one I think of when I think of Sims, like um, the most time I spent on it, I thought it was Sims 3, but I think maybe it was Sims 2. The one thing you've got to remember though is I think you look back at things nostalgically and you remember them being better than they were. So I think I did that with Sims 3. I, th I still think the game is great and it's it's superior to Sims 4 in some ways. Uh, but not always. I think Sims 4 is better at a lot of stuff too. Uh, but I think I remembered it running better and being nicer looking than it actually was. Like, I, w I always remember the Sims looked bad, but I thought the world looked great. But I actually think I definitely prefer the way the world looks in Sims 4. Like, by Country Mile. But I didn't know that that was how I felt until I played The Sims 3 again. I think it's very easy to like romanticize things that you've not played for a while. So, yeah. Please don't tell me I've done that with Mass Effect. <laughs> After I just hyped it up this much, that would be really bad. Yeah, Sims 3 is an ugly game. It is a bit of an ugly game. I say that as somebody who's currently playing it and enjoying it. It's ugly. Why have I got stupid coffee? 
Sims 4 is a very good looking game. I, I still don't like the hair, but in terms of the way the worlds look and like the houses and stuff, it's a, it's a nice looking game, you know? Yeah, Sims 3 is very dark. Like, I use a lot of shaders on it and it, I still can barely see what I'm doing if I'm being honest. Oh, you missed the nostalgia from Dreamhouse. The thing is, you can never start a game again for the first time. So that feeling of watching Dreamhouse is from me playing the game properly for the first time. We, you can't get that back because um, I can't get that feeling back either. Because like I've played The Sims before. Um, so yeah, and I just think as well, it was a bit more of a carefree time in general. Like I felt like um, I was able to play the game more freely then. Um, so yeah, that feeling of nostalgia will just never return but that's fine because i my game is now really modded and i can try new mods out and it looks a lot better than it did then so there's like different stuff you know you want to get into your life of strange vids but what is the game about so it's a story based game uh where your choices have a really big impact on the game storyline it's like story exploration that's how i would describe life is strange it's a really good game uh the stories are often very emotional very deep they cover a lot of Issues that are like very relevant today um, And yeah, that's kind of how I would describe it I don't want to give too much away, but all the storylines are quite different so far like this one's quite different from the first one Dreamhouse for Sims 5 yes, <laughs> we'll definitely do that. I think My dream house was basically a rags to riches by accident as well Like I didn't really mean to do oh geez. I forgot about my customers I didn't really mean to do a rags to riches, but I kind of did a rags to riches without even knowing what a rags to riches was. Um, and that's kind of how I did Dreamhouse. And I think that's probably why it was quite fun as well, wasn't it? Dreamhouse Sims 5, yeah. We will definitely do it. There you go, ma'am. And I've made too much cake. <laughs> did I like Until Dawn? I did, but I had to have Ali with me because I was, I was too scared playing that game. It was pretty scary. Definitely scary. Um, where can I find Claire's merch? Do I actually have a merch command? Oh, I do for the stickers. Oh yeah. Wait, do I? Yeah, I do, but I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do an updated merch. Oh, 160, nice. My merch is gonna change soon. So keep your eyes posted for that. Gabby Abby, thank you for the bits! I'm debating getting Stardew, but I'm not sure if I would know what mods to put into it to make it cute and pretty. You can get all of the mods that I use if you go on the Discord. Um, they're all linked in there, so. Lottie, a mini workout! Okay, let's go ahead and do ourselves a little mini workout while we prepare for the next day. So, go ahead, grab your weights. We're going to be doing up this time. Wow. And three, two, one, go. Uh, e, some, some. Oh, yuck, chill, pal, ship, wait, pal, go, ship, shivy, la, shivy, ship, sum, ship, sa, ship, oh, ship, yuck, ship, chill, ship, pal, ship, go, ship, ship, bill, ship, e, ship, sum, ship, sa, ship, oh. Do I have off game families? No, I do not play The Sims unless I'm streaming it. Or unless I am making uh, YouTube content. I don't think... I know some people do. But if I'm playing that game for hours and hours every day anyway, I'm not gonna play it off. P plus it's a single player game. If I'm gonna play games off stream, um, posh check, thank you, Amelia. Then I want to be able to play them with Ali. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna see what the final note is. I play Warzone is the main game I play off stream. Oh, I wish I could take a break from work and eat a lemon cake. You've got to feed her a lemon cake, haven't you? You've got to feed her a lemon cake. That's what that means. Should I try and do that? We might have to do that. Lily Loop, thank you so much for the for three, six, nine months, which baby. Loved every single minute of it. Minute of it. I'm so glad, Lily. Thank you so much for being here for nine months of your prime. And uh, Chayara, thank you so much for the bits, my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you ordered a case and you got a new phone by the time it arrived. Yeah, so I'm, I'm changing providers of my merch. 
Don't want to say too much because we've not launched stuff yet, but um, when we do, you guys will be the first to know. So, yeah. Um, that kind of stuff is just not acceptable. I agree. Um, did you say CEA is not making The Sims 5? Is it not? I thought loads of stuff came out about Sims 5 recently. I'd very much doubt that EA would give up on the Sims series. It must be one of their big earners. Um, okay, should I feed her a lemon cake? Should we do it? Should we do it as like a last thing that we do before we end stream? Although I think it only saves the next day, but it's fine. Should we do it? Do you guys want to suggest some numbers? What are your content plans for after the Not So Berry Challenge? Kenzie, I have no idea. I'm so worried. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't. Because I didn't put it on the menu. And I can't change the menu. So we will do that next time. However, I am going to do the cow a different color. Because I want to see the cow. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it because it's not on the menu, so I can't cook it. What happens if you give cow a strawberry? Oh, cow won't eat a strawberry. Hmm, rude. Um, will you eat a cherry? Really? It won't eat a cherry either. We eat a chocolate? This feels bad. Oh, look at it, a chocolate cow! Um, I swear you're not meant to give animals chocolate. That makes me nervous. <laughs> I like little chocolate cow. Okay, I think we will save the giving a lemon pie to uh, Miss Bonbon and the final chocolate, uh, the final cow colors for the next time we play. Because I want to wait for the next update. Um, and still have some stuff to unlock from the bookcase when we do it. So I think this seems like a good time to go ahead and end things. It's five to seven as well. It's actually way later than I thought it was. So yeah, I think we'll do a little endy here, guys. Did you have a less fun stream? Let me see who's playing so we can do some raidy suggestions. Uh, I will pull you guys uh, now. Bernardo. That's Rosa Shaw. Um, who shall we read? We've got DK playing Among Us, we've got Koji playing Among Us, we've got Josh playing Among Us, we've got Bloody playing GeoGuessr. Um, we've got Gid playing Stardew Valley. We've got, actually let me do you guys a, let's do a Sim streamer as well. Let's go Shayla the princess too. Who's wearing a pink wig instead of, uh, there we go. So go ahead and do a little vote right now. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful stream. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!